Welcome everybody, welcome to God Rebuilt. <clears throat> Let's go ahead and join the call and get this party started tonight. Alright. Hello everybody, how are you all doing? Hey there! <laughs> welcome. Hey, good evening! And I know we have a, a special guest tonight. We do! Say hello <laughs> special guest. Hello. <laughs> Everyone, Kibo has joined us on Rebuilt tonight. What have we done? <laughs> <laughs> um, so welcome oh, our to our audience participation. Yeah, yeah. Be careful; you may get called on um, to, to to actually, you know, contribute. Um, so, welcome to the hundred and forty second game of A God Rebuilt. Uh, and to give us a recap from last game, uh, we'll be the official log person, which is you, Hippo. Oh, man. Okay, so um, uh, basically we met with Lictalon at the beginning. He gave us some not-so-cryptic advice <laughs> on what to do in the Crystal Kingdom. Um, and then we went to the bar. People got gifts. We decided to go to the um, the gardens uh, where Dream used his ace to get us through to Lorn, um, and we met the L Duke of Lorn. Gave him some gifts. He gave us some gifts. Um, went to buy some stuff in the town. Um, Went to dinner with the Duke of Lorne, met with Jace. Jace told people some stuff that I didn't write in the log. <laughs> <laughs> um, it's okay. You reminded everyone. Yeah. And then uh, uh, Torin and No Name fed homeless people while uh, Dream and Grignac uh, had a wild, crazy orgy. Um, and then uh, we used the teleport scroll, got to the mountain <laughs> near the Crystal Kingdom, rode up it on phantom horses, 
and met some elves and a golem and now we're going towards the crystal kingdom area that we desire with them. after being accosted by something mm -hmm. yes it was more of an exposure <laughs> so um you are again being led uh with a couple horsemen in front and a couple of horsemen behind date uh yes date oh date it's the sixth of uh thought um thank you for asking sorry and uh while you are um heading towards uh the inn uh, that they that that you have a map that you know you're heading towards, uh, or at least Grignac has a map. Um, Grignac, uh, suddenly you are visited in your head, and since Dream is doing uh, group telepathy, all of you. Well, re except for Ursus, receive this. Uh oh. We're screwed. <laughs> so whatever we think, um, other people can can see. Um, here, here, here. Oh, they can hear. They can't see. Correct. Oh, well, no name will Despite. vividly describe something then. <laughs> With this thought. <laughs> and I'm, I'm glad Earth. As is my block up. <laughs> Leave for that one. Yes. I wish I had my mind block up. <laughs> <laughs> oh, sorry, guys. I was thinking of something very <laughs> <laughs> All right. So has everyone read Thoth's message? I didn't know that Brian had full-sized this image. I oh, my goodness. That. That's ginormous. Mm-hmm. I'll, I'll, I'll edit that after game, but wow. Merkel, <clears throat> not in roll 20. Craig, you're not needed. Um, so, has everyone gotten that? Finished it? Mm-hmm. <laughs> uh, by I the way, Torin will be here in about 30 minutes. I crack my knuckles. <clears throat> okay. <laughs> Merkel saying bad jokes through the group telepathy. Uh, Grignac, uh, you're 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 not clear. You you make good points, but you're not you're not clear. The, the second part of that is far more important than the first. Yeah, I kind of figured. Yeah, you know, I'll let you make your own decisions. Um, all right, so uh, you reach the inn uh, about sunset. On the 6th. Uh, and... Uh, you uh, the inn is deserted except for a innkeeper who uh, seemingly knows you're coming because uh, he uh, greets you gruffly at the door. Uh, welcome, welcome, come in, come in. Uh, I ask uh, uh, be in momentarily. Uh, sit in the main room, and he motions you all to the main room. Go ahead. Sorry, Grignac. I ask uh, 
drain to check to see if this guy uh, exudes supernatural evil. Dream will, Dream will do that. He'll also kind of feel around, uh, you know, looking around as we enter the inn and go through it, um, seeing if he senses any supernatural evil from anywhere in the inn. You do not. not. Just this guy. You do not. Um, and and the guy is a, an elf. Um, he's a pretty scarred up elf. Looks like he uh, definitely saw some battles in his past. Um. <laughs> And he still looks better than I do. He does look better than you. Nothing looks as ugly as you do. Um, I don't Mer- think anything literally looks as ugly as you do. Um, <laughs> Burnell, that's just scary, folks. <laughs> Merkel, um, uh, Mer- <clears throat> how does this end stack up to other ends that Merkel's been in for performing? And what do they have here for performance? Is there a stage? Can he go take it? There, there is want- no stage. There's just a main room with a big table uh, and um, a serving bar from where the uh, guy takes uh, takes drink orders and throws throws around whatever drinks. Uh, there's a hearty stew to be had. Well, that isn't going to do. How do you, you know, entertain guests here? He's he's going to go to like the other hey, side from the bar and Merkel? actually start clearing out an area. Hey, Merkel? Yeah. I really don't think you should take the stage. I don't think stealing from these people would be a good idea. <laughs> well, if you do it right, they'll never know. Um, what currency is being traded here? There, There is no currency. Um, it seems that you're being fed as... Because you're being escorted here oh, okay. for your beer. For yeah, Torin. Torin will hold up three fingers. We treat dwarven <laughs> ale. Yeah, Torin will hold up three fingers uh, to the barkeep and say, uh, um, "He just serves you one." Hold up a hand. He, he, he just serves up. He serves you each just one. Um, I'll hand Torin all that stuff. Eventually, after everyone has it, it has started eating, at least uh, he comes back with at least one refill. Um, but that's about it. No name will give Torin one of his beer. Uh, as soon as uh, Merkel, as soon as you uh, start standing up to perform, the one of the so- uh, one of the soldier guys uh, tells you, "Sit down, eat." This is. This will be your only meal uh, before sleep. Uh, you guys need to liven up around here. You guys don't have he'll, second he'll very, Perhaps you can entertain the Crystal King at a later date. He'll, he'll kind of must... slowly... He'll kind of slowly put away like the pins that he started juggling. As he's juggling, he'll just kind of like pop open his pack and like let them fall in one at a time to end the performance. And then... And with a flourish, go sit down to eat. If we're to entertain the king, uh, will there be large blocks of ice available for my good friend Hebo? Uh, <laughs> he says we can have that now if you need. That is a strange request. It's not strange. It is a strange request. You'll see, we don't want to ruin the surprise. Hey, Victor. Yes, I saw what you wrote in Rule 20. I'm going to get you. Yeah, and I just realized something. Hmm. If I'm going to be praying in my head silently, everybody is going to hear except Ursus, so I'm going to have to say it aloud. (laughs) That's true. (laughs) The idea of how the power works is that it shouldn't... It shouldn't? Go ahead. Admitting just what you're... Dave, you're cutting in and out. Oh, um, I'm not sure why. Maybe I'm having internet connection. Maybe you're having internet connection, now. Freeze? What? <laughs> yes. <laughs> yeah, in fact, for a moment, your your picture froze as well. So, yeah, you were definitely having an issue there for a second. Say again. <laughs> I guess it doesn't matter. Uh, oh, never mind. That was no name. Um, I was saying that the way the power works it's just that you should have to think about saying stuff for it to transmit it doesn't actually pick up 
just like what you're thinking of. You have to actively be thinking, I want someone else to hear this, but you think it. Yeah, right. I'm praying in my head, which means I'm actively thinking okay. that somebody <laughs> should be hearing this. All right. Okay. Um, Greg Neck, give me a 1d20, please. Alright. You don't know what a burger is. Yeah, we do, because Beef Supreme has a restaurant. <clears throat> and I visited it. You did not visit it. Yeah, I did a long <laughs> time ago. No, Gavin visited it. No, I know, but it's been established for a while, and I visited it. <laughs> My journeys took me that way once. Your journeys did not take you all the way up mm -hmm. into the northern wilderness, for God's sake. Oh, but, there was a okay, great evil. Great neck. Um, so, um, you, you finish your meals and uh, are uh, escorted to each individual rooms. Um... And, uh, Greg Neck, I'm trying to slowly stall so you can pray. <laughs> I'm trying to write it out because I okay. generally say it better and then I'll have it on my log, so. Or Got I can have it on my log. Enough. Yeah, message. <laughs> yes, dream. I knock on the door that's connecting my neighbor's room. And um, I say there is no door connecting your neighbor's room. You are each put into individual rooms. What kind of hotel is this? <laughs> and um, you you hear a, the door locked from the outside. That's adorable. And, There's this thing uh, to himself. <laughs> oh, gee, they think they can lock me in here. Wow, that was quick, Torn. <laughs> All right, I'm I'm ready. Locks my Dream only says, weakness. <laughs> Dream says, weren't we supposed to meet someone here? Um. As they are coming. They are coming in the morning. You will. So you will. You will meet the interrogators in the morning. <laughs> Do we need to study for the task, teacher? <laughs> Just sleep well. Yes, Greg Knox, ready to come. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Go ahead. Go ahead, Greg Knack. <laughs> Thoth, god of our month, Thoth, wisest of the gods, I purify myself in preparation of our siege of the Crystal Palace. Send upon us the inspiration we will need to properly overcome not only our foes, but the pandemoniums that will be sent against us, Amen-Ra. Amen-Ra. Yeah, Dream will say Amen-Ra back through the uh, telepathic connection. Cool. Well, I thought he said it out loud. I thought he said he Hello? was going to do that. Hi. Bye. Nice. Welcome, Torin. Yeah, we're not getting video out of me tonight. Sorry, guys. Oh, okay. Wow, that's loud in the background there. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Suddenly there was loud piano music in the in the inn that has no stage. <laughs> is it Merkel? Uh, no, this is Torin. No, the piano. Oh, it, yeah, it's no. the ghost. It's the ghost of Merkel. He already died. Um, no, it's so, the ghost um, of Merkel passed. Yeah. The, the the beds are uh, are, are uh, elven sized, so um, every one of you uh, has enough uh, space to you know sleep on. Some of you more than others. Uh, yeah. And uh, you are in locked rooms. Um, there is a window in each. You're all on the second floor of the inn. Does Small the window question. open? Oh, go ahead. Uh, yes, the window opens. Um, am I playing anyone else's character tonight? Nope. nope. Okay, because I saw Andrew and I... I... Andrew's so... here. Oh, okay, good. Yep. Ursus, Sorry, is, Ursus is alive and well. Welcome. You came faster than I expected. Welcome. Hi. That wouldn't have happened if uh, Greg Knack was involved. <laughs> it would have been long and drawn out. 
all the more to have, all the more to have more pleasure at the end. Absolutely. So is the window big enough to climb out of? Uh, for you, yes. All right. I'm going to go ahead and climb out, and I'm going to activate uh, telekinetic walk so that I'm basically uh, floating in the air at window level, and I'm going to walk by the other windows to find the other members of Crisis. I'll also say through the telepathic connection that I'm doing that, but I know Ursus can't hear that, so I'm specifically looking for Ursus's room. Ursus, um, as soon as how you... cold is it outside? Um, it, it's it, it's in the low 60s, high 50s. Is it warm inside the room? Yes, it is warm inside. It's over Ursus 70. goes up to his window and gives it a hard shove because it's too damn warm in there. It's trying to get some mm -hmm. cold air into his room. There you go. And it opens up. And um, you as, want me to roll on that? No. Okay. <laughs> uh, Dream, um, as soon as you... Uh, are climbing out of the window before you use the telekinetic walk. Uh, a uh, one of the elves that uh, was around you says, "Hey, get back in your room." Wait, they're not in the room with us, right? No, they're you. You and you see him down below, staring up at you. Uh, He's on the ground. <laughs> I. Uh... I, I try to nonchalantly... As long as you have night vision, you see him. Yes, I do. Okay. Um, I kind of nonchalantly but badly like switch to be just like I was sticking my head out to feel the night air. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and then I, uh, I I pop back in. and uh, But I keep an eye on what's going on out there to see if the guards, since they seem to be noticing. Um, uh, you'll you'll know that, that, the guy, that the guards basically do a circular route. It would be really easy to time it so that you could get out and get into the next room um, because there's no there's no variation. Every single thing, it's it's like the same circular route, same timing every single time. OK, it, it, it takes just a, you know, an oh. hour of observation before you've got the pattern down. Well, too stoic. Um... <laughs> I just saw Brian's picture that he's putting out there. Oh. God. Which picture did I get started oh, with this it's, time? It's, it was just you got a goop, a You got a shit-eating grin on your face. Yeah. You got some armor true. on, but then you got this, Hi, my name is... It's whatever. from when he was at the con. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, that's fine. Yeah. No, I'm not mean. If if he legitimately can't do his camera, I try to find like one that's acceptable for him. Yeah, yeah, it's a good. Uh, it's still pretty funny. It's just he's got plate plate mail on, but he's got you know. Hi, my name is whatever <laughs> on top from the convention. Yeah, I know which picture. I see it. It's funny. It's but it's a good picture. It's it's not it's not it's not like what Hippo did to me. Or worse, what Andrew did to Hi Hippo. So <laughs> we weren't supposed to talk about that. <laughs> well, I you know it. Talk what we did to the GM. Yeah. yeah. Uh, Ursus will douse any lights in his room. Okay. Um, also, look outside and so keep an eye on things. Everyone, give me a quick twenty-sided die roll that's not named Dream. Um, can I ask one other question? Yeah. So I know that we were headed, or we just arrived on like the porch of the uh, inn. You're you're actually each in a room in the inn. You've already had dinner. We were brought in. Hi, What's up? Skylark is hosting us. We were sent to rooms and locked in. Okay, were we disarmed or? Okay, so just like, here's your room. We need to keep you here until we figure out what's going on. Well, no, they're, they're going to be in the interrogators come tomorrow morning. Oh, we, did right. all get, we did all get this message, Brian. I just put it in chat Surprise! for you. All right. Oh, that was okay. something that Sorry. came to Grignac, and we all, all of us heard. Except so for us. Except for how, us. How important is this role? Look, um, not, not, not very. Okay. Well, at least it, that explains it, it, why you wanted uh, that picture done. Kibo, I just need you... Oh, you did roll. 
All, uh, all achievements unlocked. Thank you for that host. Hey, hey, you. Oh, is he here? Welcome. Yeah, he's here. Oh my gosh, it's the walrus. The walrus. <laughs> <laughs> I got wait for the right time. Uh, I don't see a role for Merkel. Oh God, I totally forgot. I, I apologize. It's, it's all right. No worries. Apparently, Merkel was already asleep. <laughs> All right, so uh, Torin's room is next door to yours, Dream. Okay. So I I let him know that uh, I'm going to be popping in through his window as soon as the guards clear down below. Through the telepathic um, link we're sharing right now. Is there is there a um, a lock on my window? Um, uh, no, it's it's simple window. Is there anything in the room that could be used like a simple one-inch rock? Or something that could equate the notion of a one-inch object? Uh, I don't know if it's dust, a chip of wood, whatever. Sure, there's there's wood chip. Okay, I just prop the window up just slightly, slide the wood chip underneath, and tell Dream I left the window ajar for him. There you go. Um, Brian, right. just as a heads up. What yep. I did for your character, I ordered three beers. <laughs> oh, it sounds fantastic. <laughs> That's exactly what he would have done. And well he done, actually, yeah, sir. But and, and, and he only got two. He got uh, well, three. He didn't he got, about it. You got hey, three. Champ. I gave you one. Yes. Is uh, the bed, is it made out of wood? Um. Yes. Uh, posts or just legs? Just legs. Well, a little more difficult, but not impossible. Um, I am going to attempt to carve Thoth, Bast, uh, Osiris, and uh, Isis into the four legs. Um, okay. Uh, give me 1d4. All right. Take you two hours to do that. All right. Give me a percentage. For each one, or no, just one. All right. Just don't roll ninety nine or hundred. Yeah, no. I assume that this is simply a one sided message from Toph to Gurknak, and we just those who could hear it heard it by default, and that was about it. Um, everyone heard it except for Ursus because right, of... everyone who could hear it heard it. But like there wasn't. It was question to and dream. Though. Was just, there was no question or answer. Yeah, okay, it, was so it was just to dream. Here you go. I'm out. Yep. Yep. Got it. Th okay. That that was a success by fifty five percent. Yep. Got it. You're fine. And I, uh, and I but, professional sculptor just saying so. So it will take you two hours if you if you stay there that long. Um. <laughs> uh, dream. You're now in Torn's room. All right. He, I, I announced I was coming over already. Right. Just, right. Yeah, uh, I, I said I get in. I'm popping the window open. Yeah. I, I get in and I, I'm just looking out the window and I'm still talking to the telepathy. Um, I'm trying to get to Ursus's room so I can talk to him as well so we can work out what we want to do. Forward. Okay. Um, Until the coast is clear to basically go out to the next room. All right. So uh, let's see. What do you think that took you, let's say the timing was about 10 minutes, each each moving from room, timing out the guards, etc., cetera, etc.? Cetera. Sound right. about fair? Well, you said it took him an hour to time out the guards. Oh, yeah, it, it took a, me yeah, an hour no, 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 first, just, and then... Just to figure. Now, now I think about 10-minute intervals. Yep, all right, so another 10 minutes, you show up in Hebo's room, and then third, you show up in Ursus's room. So now you're in Ursus's room. All right. Whisper from me real quick, GM, just to... Uh, okay. Uh, <laughs> we know that about you, No Name. It's not the only thing that's always open. Oh. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> 
Merkel asked uh, Dream to make sure that he makes it to his room as well so they could work out a routine for uh, the next performance. He has some great ideas involving Dream's powers. Okay, but um, it prob- it, right now is probably not the time, folks. So you wanted to get to Ursus so that you guys could plan. So now here's your planning. Yeah. So, Ursus. I, I, I come in through Ursus's window. <laughs> I've I've been talking with the others. Can you uh can you let me in so we could talk quietly or I could just relay win- what's being said. It's up to you. The window is wide open and it's been wide open. Yeah, he stated that a while ago. Yeah. Oh yeah. Well Dream Dream comes in. Yes. Okay, folks. Keep keep moving. And go on. Yeah, Dream comes in and he says to Ursus, I've been talking with the others. Um do you want to drop your protection on your mind or just I could relay what's being said? We're kind of working out what we want to do here. I'll drop it for now. Okay. So Ursus dropped him in his as well. mind block. All right. So now we all can hear each other if we wish to think that. And Dream actually thinks that to everyone. I'm just just stay in Ursus's room since I made it here. Um, unless you need me to leave, and I'll leave. But just right now to talk with everyone. So what are we worried about from these interrogators? I just, having been in the military, I interrogators are not friendly people, and I'm not I'm not so much worried about what they'll find out from us, but about what we'll have to do to deal with them. And I'm just wondering. Why don't we just leave right now and keep going? Do we need to stay for them? We need to get into the Crystal Fortress, and if we do it as enemies leaving, um, it won't go well. My concern is that while the two of you that are disguised are disguised well, your thoughts don't necessarily betray you as who you really are. While my thoughts will betray me as who I really am. Why do you say that? Because Because of my nature. (laughs) (laughs) Actually, I I suspect that's not true. You don't think they're going to probe that deep? Oh, no, that's not the point. Um, So, magics and psychic powers are are unreliable, except those granted by the crystal uh, castle itself, or the ruler. However, something that can make a rune weapon go quiet is a big deal. But I think it's probably interfering with them as much as it's interfering with us. Because they're not close to the Crystal Castle. They're out here in this inn. Just focus on your human thoughts. That's all you have to focus on. You can even focus on the fact where it's like, it seems like you're having dreams of a bear. Yes, I, it's a totem we worship. I think about the bear all the time. I dream about me being a bear. It's the thing I do. None of those statements are technically lies. I can block memories from your mind temporarily if you wish, but I don't know how that would affect how you are. Yeah. Yeah, let's go there again. Yeah, I remember reading what happened to you when you did it to the guy I replaced. It went less than stellar. <laughs> Master of understatement. No, I don't. I don't need to bond with his mind in order to do that. We can just talk it out and work it out. But oh well, I'm then not. I would trust him implicitly. And he, he points at at Dream because he kind of remembers roughly where Dream was, even though he's not in his room anymore. 
But he talks with his hands, so there's hand gestures to go with whatever he's saying. If we had a clue as to what they were going to do beforehand, like if I knew... Dream, if like you if had someone to interrogate people, first, what would you do? Dream is deliberately quiet about this for a moment. With did I offend someone? With the powers, did I touch on something? No, no. I just I'm remembering when with the powers of the mind, um, a, the way I would do a full interrogation would be a full memory swap to learn everything that they know. That that's really the most accurate way but there are other ways of interrogating yes, without but psychic here's, abilities here's the problem with that dream if you send anybody in who is a mind mage who knows anything about your plans you're giving the entirety of your plans to your enemy even if you don't feel that they'll escape so you can't effectively use that as an interrogation technique because that gives away as much as it retains or as much as it gains it's easy enough to wipe away the memories that I don't want them to have. In so such you would a just wipe your memories for a predetermined amount of time. So the memories you swapped are the ones you're willing to share. If I'm interrogating someone, then well, this this is all hypothetical anyway. If if I'm interrogating someone using my powers, they're at our mercy. They're in a position where. I have the power over them already. They're not going to run away. They're not going to give away any information. Once we bonded minds, I could then erase the memories of mine from their mind. Oh, I get, but, oh sorry. I understand now. But isn't wiping somebody's memories evil? Again, I. this is hypothetically what I would do in such a situation with my abilities. This is what mind mages can do. Yes, but... I've always heard that wiping others' minds is truly a despic despicable act. I disagree. Wiping someone's minds without their permission would be what I would feel is evil. But there are I times don't... people have memories they don't wish to remember. There's plenty of right, so then... in the military who've been evil. I would rather have their memory wiped than take back knowledge that they gained. And I certainly am not going to wait around to ask the traitor's permission to deal with an issue. I just see it. I do have a question. Oh, I'm sorry, Ursus. Go ahead. I'm, my question to Boxer is this. If you were to try and interrogate someone and they had their guard up like I can do, how would you deal with that? Someone with abilities like mine can force their way past that. Okay. Well, if possible, hopefully we don't all go at the same time. But if possible, if someone else was to go before me, I might be able to perceive a way to help myself get past it. You just need more information about uh, what they want, or th basically, I need to see the test. And he does air quotes, and he you get the the emo the thought of air quotes. <laughs> I I don't think you'd be allowed to see it. You hopefully will be allowed to talk to someone after the fact. <laughs> or if someone's going through it, I don't put up my guard, and I get the sense and thoughts of what they're going through. Okay, it looks like uh, we got a majority, but um, Ursus and Merkel. Uh, that would be that would give me two votes. I'm not going to vote twice just because I'm okay. only the characters. 
Well, okay. I, I just I figured Merkel may have a different viewpoint or stab them all, shoot them in the dark. Okay. Well, Mer- <laughs> Merkel's Merkel's viewpoint would be to stay. He doesn't feel that uh, he doesn't feel that threatened right now with what's going on, or that there's any real need to have to like run and get on the run. This is kind of the best way to gain information by dealing with the locals. Okay. All right. So. Um, morning. Uh, so you uh, you go guy go back to your room. Dream. Uh, um. Yeah. Morning comes. Um. Uh, everyone comes down. Uh, your doors are opened. Uh, breakfast is served. Uh. And the question. same innkeeper. Yes. Um. So, it, when we're done with the discussion, and we elect to stay, I go into mm-hmm. meditation. Fine. Um, provided I don't botch this percentile rule, which is a 98, um, or w- would be 98 or less, then um, do I recover PPE in the morning? Uh, well, give me a roll and I'll tell you. Yes, you recover PPE. All right. So, did it come at the rate that it mentions in deep meditation yep. three times yep. the amount kind of thing okay cool. yep okay good dream uh, dream also meditated through the night fine uh, um and i i adjusted my isp for the stuff i do in the morning i do renew our uh, mental communication at least okay. for now but if yep. something weird's going on I'll, I'll try my best to end it before anything bad happens versus will make sure that he gets his standard amount of rest but will be up before the sun and okay. I don't know which way his window is facing. I'm hoping it's towards the crystal uh, castle or fortress. Give me uh, odd even. Odd. No, roll. Want me to... <laughs> roll odd even. Uh, uh, it is. It, it, it is. Um, you're, you're facing the direction that the map had shown that. The Crystal Kingdom is in. Yes. Well, then he will watch for a s- separate unit coming from that direction towards the end to see what is approaching and try and identify them. Uh, you see Please. three individuals all uh, hooded. Um, their features shrouded. Uh, One of them has a golden ring and a small man following behind him. <laughs> <laughs> well, those that maintain their connection through the night, Ursus will describe them mm-hmm. as they're coming towards the end. Hey, Silent, uh, do you feel any supernatural evil yet? Nope. I don't feel any supernatural evil. Um, I do activate the tech psionics, though. Uh, yes. <laughs> hi, hi, hi. Okay. Um, you're and familiar with the you're reading. familiar with you're familiar with no names, uh, typical psionic uh, output, um, and uh, Kibo's typical psionic output as well, and Urshus. And Ursus is. Yeah, I'm considered very low on the psychic scale. Okay. Uh, yeah, it- so so Ursus and, and Torin are low level psionics. Uh Hebo is a major uh same as no, no name, name are you minor? Yeah. Or major. I think I'm major. You're major. Yeah, you're major. Okay. What about those figures? Are they psionic? Or do I detect they psionics vary. from them? Very. They very are they they are very psionic or they are very psionic. Very. Okay. Like the equivalent to you. Like Valley Girl Psionic? <clears throat> like for sure. Like, <laughs> oh my God. Yes, just like Dream. <laughs> totally. Totally. Like Tabular um, Man. I don't detect any active psionics from them, though, do I? Um, yes. Okay, I'm going to end our group chat. Okay. Do you tell us you end it, or do you just cut it off? I'll, I'll say I'm, I'm ending this now. 
uh, and we discussed reasons why before. So I'm trying to minimize what I say in that way. Hey, Hippo. Yeah. Do you want a boot tonight, or do you want to skip a boot tonight? It's up to you. No, I'm asking what you... I'm, for once, I'm going to be okay. nice and actually ask your preference. Um, I could go either way. Well, that's what you usually say in bed, but... um. Hey, we don't judge. You have any feelings as far as a boot? Um, yeah, I just have to wash it, that's all. Okay, you can do that during the first break, right? Said the same yep. thing about the ball gag. <laughs> hey, Victor, I have a question about rations. Yes? Am I eating as much as an elf right now or as much as a troll? As much as a troll. Okay, so I am still eating as much as a troll. Got it. Ursus fills up on the hospitality of the uh, innkeeper and will continue yep. to eat until he gets cut off. Um, <laughs> you, you, get, you get one serving. If anyone doesn't finish theirs, he will leave. <laughs> I, I, I give you mine. Yeah. Torrin actually hands over his as well after taking one little chunk of it and eats it. I'll give you my whole plate. I'm not hungry. All right, there you go. Mer Merkel looks around and wonders what's wrong. I, I guess he pushes <laughs> it away too. <laughs> um. Victor, I made uh, 44 in a fasting roll. That's fine. And McGrignac's already fasting as well, so it's kind of funny. <laughs> I just, there's so many things a warrior monk can do, but just he never uses, I see a lot of people just don't use some of these skills, and so. Yep. Yeah, no, I'm glad. It's 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 cool. Well, that's um, the thing. I started fasting last night. I don't think. Most priests we've had in crisis have ever fasted. Agreed. So, um, the, uh, the, uh, three arrive. Um, they all take off their hoods upon arrival. Um, they are all three elves. Um, each of them are wearing, uh, crystal circlets around their head crystal necklaces and have on multiple crystal rings and each of them have a crystal staff um, <laughs> they, they the three of them um, walk up and say I hope you have enjoyed your breakfast please uh, go to your rooms take off all of your clothes all of your weapons all of your rings you may only bring in those things that are crystal into the room or those things that are, are blessed to you. We will inspect um, the blessed we, items. We will be coming question. for you uh, one you... at a time. And when we come for you, we expect you to be ready. Is this understood? No. Yes, Master Dwarf. Question about blessed items. What do you consider yes. a blessed item? I don't wish to get this wrong. Uh, an item that comes uh, that 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 is part of your worship of your God. Not gifted. Thank you. Of course, there is no such thing as a gift from the gods to mere mere mortals. Silly, <laughs> silly person. I show him the ring. All rings must yeah, be removed, I, even as I it, hold my armband. It is a symbol of Isis, so that item we will inspect. You're welcome to inspect. Mine was handed to me by Ra himself. Um, Chris, mute. Um. Sorry. Uh, Do you need me to say it again? Yeah, sorry. Uh, I actually didn't hear you. Yeah, he hold when he's holding up his arm, he says, you're welcome to inspect it, but this was given to me, and he gestures to the uh, one around his arm. When you get to the room, not now, no. thank you very much. When you are called upon, please retire to rooms and prepare yourselves. All right. 
And they're um, speaking and that the, ancient elven, correct? Yes. He, he responds in ancient elven to him. I'm, I'm sure you do. Um, uh, and again, those of you that are wearing translation items, you can hear now. Um, but obviously, if you leave those items behind, we'll have an interesting session. Um, so, first question, Torin. Do you go to your? Uh, you go to your room. You what? What do you? What are you wearing as they knock on your door? Uh, before me on the floor are my two axes. They are not in my hand. They are laid out in a very ceremonial way, handles pointing away from me, um, and, and clearly in a, the way a samurai might lay his swords down in front of him on the floor. Got it. Um, he's wearing his armband. He's wearing nothing else except uh, the Ring of Ithan. Okay. Um, a dwarf uh, opens the door and says, you are first, my prince. And he, like, bows down onto the floor. Please rise. <laughs> why, why are you here? Because Rob put me here. You, you should... Come immediately to Alpineberg. There are many that would follow. Uh, one moment. I will be uh, happy to wait. He, and he the, closes and the, the door prince and bows to him, thanking him for his understanding. And he closes the door and, and runs. You could hear him running down the <laughs> stairs. <laughs> the pitter patter of dwarven feet. Yeah, it, it, the crunch of Corbin's feet. <laughs> <laughs> um, Ursus, uh, Mr. Two says, if only. So he gets to stay behind. Figures, Bandy to me at first chance. If there's scalies, I can't save you if you don't take me. Um, so where the hell uh, am I supposed to hide you? <laughs> you really want to go there? <laughs> Is that your preferred location? Torin does not put any. Torin doesn't put any clothes back on, just so we're clear, because he's not been instructed to. Um, the dwarf and one of the. Uh, uh, interrogators come uh, come in to, uh, knock on the door. Enter, please. See, it is really a ring still, that is still of on the his dwarf. knees, calm. The ring displayed. His axes on the floor. He's very calm. Just doesn't care that he's naked. It, it is truly a ring of Ithan. I I I, I told you I. He holds his hand up so that they can inspect the ring, but he does not let them remove it. Yeah. Um, here, here's funny. Um, I just wrote a zero one on my uh, lore scale. Oh, so someone's like, oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it, my, my apologies, uh, uh your Highness, uh, the elf says as he uh, as he bows to you. Please, says, ancient uh, elf will be fine. Uh, and he switches back to ancient elven, and he says, "I, <clears throat> I, uh, are are these your bodyguards? They are that you travel with. Yes, uh, my then, dearest and trusted I, companions." I am sure that the Crystal King and Queen would be happy to um, see you. I, I, we, we shall escort you there immediately. I have one simple question. Yes. If you're done asking questions, may I get dressed? Uh, please, please. Uh, I, I will. Uh, we, we will. Uh, I, I will notify my. You may, uh, 
You may relax. Know that I waited to ask to get dressed because I wish to honor the customs of your land. You are most kind. Uh, we are honored by your uh, visitation. I, we thought that the line of Ithan was long gone. I, My sister lives as well. There is a sister. I, yes. Uh, we must escort you to the 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 the, the king uh, immediately. My um, sister is he, Queen Dismanova. Uh, yes, yeah, yes, your highness. Uh, uh, she is uh, not here. I assume. No, she is not. I was sent ahead. I offered because Ra said I need you to help with something, and so I am here. Uh, yeah, yeah, yes, sir. Um, uh, we, yeah. And he bows and nervously backs out of the room uh, uh, with the dwarf uh, who uh, bows like 12 times on his way out. I look at the um, dwarf. Could you hand me my robe, please? Uh, he immediately hands you his ro your, your robe and, and like rushes out of the room. Thank you kindly. And I say that to him in ancient dwarven. Um, and and he, each of you receiving knock on the door fairly quickly. Uh, please uh, dress and escort uh, his highness uh, to the Crystal King. <laughs> wow, lucky rolls. Okay. That could have gone horribly wrong. <laughs> it, it was supposed to go horribly wrong, but yeah, no. Merkel says, no, make up your minds. <laughs> Oh, come on, it was going to be awesomely fun, but oh well. <laughs> uh, uh, many apologies, sir, uh, Mr. Master Elf, guardian of uh, royalty. Um, the, and the elf bow, uh, leans in and asks, what, what is the prince's name? <laughs> to me? <laughs> yeah, to Merkel. To Merkel. Oh, the Merkel Dam. <laughs> That'd be like the worst person to choose. <laughs> you don't know his name? Oh, uh, Merkel didn't have any pet names for him, did he? No. Uh, not yet. <laughs> no, the prince has been actually kind of nice to Merkel. And, the, and Merkel's been nice to the prince. Oddly enough. Yeah, then... Then he'll he'll give him uh he'll say you could call him Prince Torin or Torun. I don't think he minds either. I think his friends actually call him Torin. So you Torin. may want to just call him Torun. Or run. Did I get that right? Is that what Greg Dak always calls him? No, nope. Greg Dak not saying the name correctly, so that's great. You did it fine, that's the problem. If they'd asked oh. Grignac, he would have said it was uh, Tarun. <laughs> it was Tarun. Oh, oh, oh well. <laughs> okay. So, um, all of you are uh, immediately um, escorted out of um, at the inn as soon as you are ready. Um, oh, I wanted to see lo the look on the guy's face when he walked in with Ursus standing there naked. <laughs> Sorry. Too late. We've been moved along. He's Damn, like, just kidding. I'm a bear. I'm always naked. <laughs> <laughs> um, so, uh... But we have all our and, things, right? Yes, you have all of your things. And, uh... You are, um... Asked, uh, 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 someone asks if uh, y you wish horses or uh, do you wish to walk? I would much prefer to walk. Yeah, Ursus is walking. Any objection to walking? No. The minute All right. he sees some of his... Well, how long are walking, we walking? He's like, please, I would love to see this fine land. How far is it if we walk to the Crystal T Castle? You will reach there uh, by the evening. Walking is fine. Um, so sure enough, you guys walk, and as sunset hits, you crest, you come out of the denser forest, 
and you see in front of you giant crystal walls towering 40 feet high in front of you. And ahead on a hill, a glimmering crystal castle shining in multicolors, reflecting the sunset. I've there have been very few things, perhaps the Millennium Tree itself, but outside of that, nothing that you have ever seen could rival its beauty. I whisper to Tarun then, I've seen better. <laughs> <laughs> and I don't detect any evil. <laughs> um... What's your range on evil? A thousand feet. Um, nope. I think if they're casting, though, it's two thousand. Nope. Well, yeah. we're not going to get there by simply staring at it. Um, and uh, so you uh, are waved through the gate, continue down the road. As, as we go through, I want to... Uh, I'm going to choose Azimir. Um, I want to be talking to Azimir as we go through. Um, um, as soon as you hit the wall, you've lost contact with Azimir. Okay. I'll, I'll wait a little bit and see if I can activate telepathy to try and directly communicate with the rune item. Give me a percentage. You, um, no name. Yes. It is the strangest feeling you have ever felt. No name. Dream. No. Oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> I guess he just <laughs> goes pale like a robot. <laughs> All right. Uh, quick question. Three tens or two fifteens folks. I mean, yes. My bladder would prefer three tens. I'll go Any with objection tens. to three tens? No. All right. Uh, miss your no name, Mister Hippo. Are you ready for a break? <laughs> 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 yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, your ass can't handle three thirty, so you're going to get three tens. Oh. <laughs> Shouldn't have gone where you went. I go. Um, <laughs> all right. Uh, see you all in ten minutes. Oh, we're at break time. Yep. yep. Okay. Uh, Twelve after. Okay. All right.
All right. Let's go ahead and rejoin the call, everybody. And get this game on the road again. Oh, yeah. On the road again. Hello. Sorry about that. Welcome back. I told you I needed 3.30s. And you laughed yeah. at me. You I laughed. Did. I did. <laughs> you should, you know, eat eat better quality food, dude. I, that's uh, all the more fiber. fiber, man. More fiber. What if it was all fiber? I ate only fiber one for a whole week. <laughs> all right. crazy. Oh, I saw you for a second. There we go. All right. Yeah. So, so before we proceed much further, I want to ask a couple questions. Um, <clears throat> yes, sir. I I had done the telepathy thing. You made me roll. Um. So I'd like to know the answer to that, but I also want to know in general, uh, you know, unlike other characters, a master psionic, the psionics are like a part of them. Yes. You know? And I just, you know, Dream also has like the projection of his emotions as an automatic thing. He can sense supernatural um, as an automatic thing. So, and I so, want to know like, like so I need like you the... to roll for each each power. All right. So I had you roll for the telepathy. Okay, so there's my roll for the uh, the emotions. Your emotions work. My roll for the sensing. Nope. So do we get a pre-roll, or is it just in combat when we get a? It's it's when you use whatever you're using. Oh, okay. I was gonna be like, sweet, let's just get it out of the way. <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> No. So, um, I can so make... there's no other strange feelings or sensations that come from this. It's just stuff just doesn't work. You feel as if you are disconnected from part of you. Are my spiders? You, you feel like you feel like you're not connected. Silent dream. It feels like a a uh, phantom limb. Only it's your brain. Yes. <laughs> it's a phantom brain. It's a phantom brain. <laughs> You and Ursa should get along just fine. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> well, you can't miss it if it was never there. <laughs> <laughs> the scary thing is Ursus is smarter than Dream now. He is. He's like, I know. Kung Fu. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> and calculus. It really felt to me as when he, when he did his role that we were reliving that that scene from the Matrix. It was suddenly like <laughs> he was getting downloaded stuff. It was just hilarious. <laughs> I need to watch and that. He's been great at role playing long. it out. I think. So oh, yeah, dream is arithmetic. <laughs> so dream is a lot more. Uh, a little bit more anxious and nervous. Like he's definitely like looking around a lot more, and he's he's definitely feeling very off being in here now. Okay. Um, and thank I think you. the telepathy didn't work. The telepathy did not work. Okay. Um, but he's totally letting us know he's freaking anxious. <laughs> yeah, that works. <laughs> <laughs> um <laughs> You gotta say it. <laughs> You'll flex you against his up. head and everything'll work, huh? <laughs> yeah, I'm just gonna, you know, just rub his temples a little bit, just <laughs> No no, you need to put to him at ease. Arm, you know, put it put him in yeah, a head yeah, just flex against him. Yeah, it's it's very weird. You're doing that, and his anxiousness level is going up. <laughs> <laughs> I appreciate the thought, Eva. <laughs> we could um, get a massage line. So, just to make sure I was obviously obvious enough um, in the thought log... Because I do believe in the three clue rule, which means I'm going to try and hammer home certain things. You guys understand that if you get, if you got a weapon or an item from a god or the Millennium Tree, those still work. So, so like Kibo's net. 
so like Evo's net still works because that was from the Millennium Tree. Torrin's axes still work. Our blanket works. Yeah, the I, leaf blankets. Oh, the leaf blankets still work. Yes, I'm like <laughs> I I mean, what, what, what kinky thing so are you giving me? Now? <laughs> still working. No, no, <laughs> it's like chills. My heating blanket. <laughs> So I, you know, the items that Lictalon gave you work. Does Hebo's shake weight still work? Hebo's shake weight is not on his inventory, so no. Oh. <laughs> he doesn't have his shake weight. <laughs> oh, after this game, I'll remove the parchment of partners. I forgot to do that. I'm sorry. Oh, that's right. You gave that away. Because I we gave it away, and it, it yeah. went to minish me. Um, my yeah. bad. Okay. Thank you for being honest. I didn't catch it, so you're you're, you're safe. Is Malaya... The amulets, amulets of Isis that were given to us, they weren't given to us by gods. Correct. The rings were, oh, the... So are we but losing the rings that bonus? Are. I'm sorry? So we lose the uh, amulet bonus while we're in here? Correct. Okay. Balls. And so for, suddenly most every... you, for most of you, you lose the saves from your rune weapon. You know, your plus one ball saves. Yeah, I, I forget about it all the time anyway. Okay. <laughs> I don't. It's in green. <laughs> so, um, some of uh, some of you have made it permanent on your save sheet, so just remember to take off uh, a minus one from your saves, if that's the case. I realize that it's rare that I take this off, so... I'm not going to ask you to start keeping separate track. Um, so... Yes. Does Trigum look more like a wooden sword than he did before? Yes. Um, but remember something about Trigum. He was made by Lictalon, who's a god. That should be working, Well, right? and the Lictalon specifically gave him to me Correct. when we were there. Because you tried to give it back, and he said, no, keep it. Yep. So, it, it looks more like a wooden sword, but you still feel the connection to it. So it seems to be working. It seems that it's disguising itself. <laughs> oh, Victor, you were going to have me ask you about the ring at one point, and based on what you're telling me, then I can't. Does the ring will be null and void at the moment? Well, sorry, which ring? Ithan. Uh, no, Ithan is working. Okay, just talking. Um... Which, honestly, should surprise you and tell you something. Uh, I'm, I'm picking up the hint. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe. Because, May you know, after all, I've been told before that sometimes I'm a little too subtle, quote-unquote. So I'm hoping I'm, like, hammering the hell out of this. You guys want you? No. Subtle? No. <laughs> you guys want me I to have, test the book? I have been told that, that I was it was too confusing and not clear enough, so... I'll test the book of the first <laughs> sinner and see if that's still working. <laughs> <laughs> Awaken! <laughs> so, do we lose the do chance of blessing? Out? Um, yes. Yeah, because I wasn't given any time to actually renew it, and then we no. went inside the depths. Even, even, if, even if you had, you would have lost it, so... Well, I know, but I didn't actually renew it today, so... I, I assumed it was renewed this morning. Oh, we, we literally true. weren't given enough time together, which I have to have. Oh, that's true. Okay, I'll I'll assume I, that you I kept it. I kept looking for a moment to specifically say something, but we never had a moment, and then we were off. So okay, cool. I'm trying to that's find me, and I'll take the blessing off now. Um. All right. So so um, you, do I have to roll for any psionics that were active to see if they stayed active, or do they just end going through? Uh, you need you. If they end going through. You would have to redo them and try, if you choose. Okay. And when Which I do I try, we already did. I I didn't realize the stuff had ended. I just I'm looking. Yes, yeah. has a lot of stuff. He keeps active. I, agreed. Are Plus, there others that we have not discussed yet that you? Um, the only other thing he would try to reactivate would be the. Uh, his um resist pain. Okay. 
Percentage, please. Um, Dream, you need to whisper to no name and ask him that yourself. Uh, okay. It does not, and your resist pain does not work. But Very each quickly. time you do it, you still have to take off the ISP. I'm doing that. Hey, Very quickly. quickly. Yes. Go ahead, Ursus. Hey, <laughs> okay. Once, once. <laughs> anyway, once Ursus realized. Once Ursus realized that we were going to get in safely, he put his mind block back up. Did it come off as he walked through the wall? Percentage. Yes, it went off. If you want to put it back up, give me a percentage. Nope. nope. No, but it says it's a success right there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so, he's not going to be odd, so I didn't change it. Victor, do we ever actually uh, stop, like, for lunch or anything like that? Um, no. You had breakfast. You're coming uh, upon this area near sunset. It will be dark by the time you reach the fortress itself. And they haven't stopped all day. Got it. And they have not stopped all day. Oh, well, Merkel's not too happy about that. <laughs> do you call yourself civilized? We're not even going to stop for lunch? You have a dinner appointment with the king and queen. Basically, we could have had lunch if we rode horses, but some people chose to walk. No. <laughs> I, just can walk and eat. I don't say that. <laughs> so that's why that was not a surprise to me. And as the last light of day... Whoa! Somehow... <laughs> <laughs> that was interesting. He dropped the torch. <laughs> We're doomed. The torch. <laughs> As the last light of day passes, glinting off of the crystal fortress in brilliant colors, the castle with its single tower unattached to the castle itself catches the last hint of daylight as it passes shining in a multitude of colors and then where darkness would normally be the crystal castle glows in an eerie light as if we didn't lit notice that last night nope you were t t too far in forested area to uh, see gotcha. the light. Uh, the crystal fortress uh, castle itself glows as if, as if lit in each and every crystal that forms its being. Man, I would hate to be the major to tell that thing to turn on. <laughs> Each All of right, you, your turn, your turn, uh, your turn. No, no, I, I think that they just have to stroke it lovingly. Each of you give me a... You. Uh, uh, percentage die, we are going for an awe-impress situation here. Isn't that just a 20? Uh, like no, more factor? It, no, like, uh, I'm going to go with, like, a charm and press percentage. Oh, all right. Um, anyone that rolls over 90, let me know. We're just straight oh, rolling. Totally in rapture. <clears throat> yep, just straight roll. 42, it's the answer to everything. It is, but not to this. <laughs> I'm sure I found an answer. You did. That it's, it's pretty. incredibly gorgeous, and you do not wish to harm the castle itself. What about an odd three? Nope. I said over 90. Wrong way. You no, just you became just, a drooling idiot. You, you really don't want to harm any of the castle. No, nope, just want to return it to the rightful owner. Yep. Okay. 
you um with uh the three uh interrogators you are ushered quickly through uh over the drawbridge through the portcullis and to into grandmother's house castle, we go and into the castle itself i start pacing Yeah, I start pacing off the distance. <laughs> I start trying to keep a mental image of where we are and where we've been as well. Well, I'm just trying to verify that this map is accurate. Um, the map that you should all now see. Uh, wrong. There it is. I forgot to put the torch on this map. Come on. There it is. And you are greeted in the grand room. I thought that said guard room. Yes, it says guard. It's guard. It, starts, it says guard room. It will, we'll call it grand room right now. Oh, sorry, because, my bad. Um, it seems that the guard room is now considered the grand room. Um, as, you, as you enter, you notice that there are very fine tapestries all around. Uh, beautiful statuary. Um, one, uh, statue stands out to, uh, Torin instantaneously, uh, and, and to the rest of you, uh, after not much longer as a statue of Lictalod. I walk over to it. Uh, um, before you walk over to it, I, I do want to tell you what else you see before you go walking away. Um, and, uh, standing in the middle of the room, uh, flanked by a, a few guards, um, uh, also, uh, two elven, two dwarves, all, uh, totally crystalled up, um, but instead of staves, these staves, these people have swords, are they active and or? I uh, do you wish to try and? What, what do you mean by are they active? Is there a blade or no blade? There are there are blades. You don't. You, sorry, you are assuming OOC things that don't exist. Um, they they have crystal swords and crystal shields. Um, and. There, uh, the king and uh, obviously king and queen are standing in the middle of the room, flanked by, uh, as I said, uh, two elves and two dwarves. Are we presented to the king and queen? Uh, and the uh, the interrogators say, "The king and queen of the Crystal Kingdom." I bow. They bow. Merkel steps forward. Merkel steps forward and bows, and says, "King and queen, let me present Prince Torun of the Ithan lineage." And he kind of looks to Torun. <coughs> Sorry, I can't have giggling at the pronunciation. Torn acts like nothing anyone says to him matters. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, he is very much remembering every etiquette lesson he was ever taught. Okay. Um, are these L's in front of me? Yes, there, there are elves in front of you. In ancient Elven, he addresses them. And Marvel's waving his hand very slowly in front of him at the grandeur of their uh, 
abode and their hospitality and inviting him to dinner. They say, welcome, Prince Torin, son of Ithan. You are the son of Ithan? Technically, I would be his 43rd grandchild. Ah. Blood of Ithan might be more appropriate. My um, sister is slightly older than me, Queen Dispanova. Hey, um, Ursus, just a reminder. The card does expire today. Yeah, and I was going to play it earlier, but something else happened. Since since someone was uh, you know since someone was mentioning uh, uh, cards on roll twenty, I just thought I'd remind her. Um, they uh, they they both do a slight bow uh, to you. Actually, the queen cur- curtsies, and um, the. Hey, Victor. Yes. Since we're just being introduced, mm-hmm. I'm playing love of interest. Okay, tell people what it means. Play, play this card when you meet someone for the first time. They will take a romantic interest in you. This could lead to benefits or trouble, or perhaps both. <laughs> I'm playing it on the king. <laughs> okay, so realize, <laughs> before you do this, Okay, um, like like certain things, if it's against alignment, um, I I will, and, and I'm not saying that he doesn't swing that way. I'm just <laughs> ahead of time. I, I can't reveal whether he does or doesn't. I just want to remind you, like any drama card, if it's against alignment, they will have a chance to save. Versus if it's played in. In non-questioned alignment, then I don't have a say. Can I interfere or interject? <clears throat> what do you uh, think? You interject. Uh, he's never seen a monster race before, according to Jace, because they're not allowed in the kingdoms. Therefore, he's, since he's it's the first monster that. race that he's seen... Oh. No, 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 that's not what he's talking about. He's talking about the fact that if the king is absolutely heterosexual, that's against no, the I know. Line. But what are you he's looking like right him. now? An he's ugly elf. A very ugly elf. Oh, okay. Sheep. Well, maybe he's so ugly that he thinks I'm, he's a woman. I, I, like <laughs> I said, I'm... <laughs> Actually, I have a question about what you said. Go ahead. Um, correct me if I'm wrong, but being gay or straight has nothing to go do with being good or evil, so I don't see why your alignment statement has any merit. Yeah, he can try out certain things, like a one-time thing. I I guess what I was trying to say is that some people are, like, principled good, and therefore would never go evil. Some people are so heterosexual that they would never even entertain it. But that's not alignment. That has no bearing on the card. Yeah, but if he were to stray from his queen... Well, here's the thing. It does specifically say it could lead to trouble. And right. him not actually liking the fact that he's attracted to this elf could lead to horrible trouble. Um, anyways, so I am I, I am taking it as played. I just wanted to say that in, a, ahead of time. If if you're okay with still staying with King, I'm okay with you staying with King. I, it's just, hey, better, I, than, better than the Queen because if it's... Like, yeah, sorry. I was just up for the drama of it. If it doesn't work, it doesn't work. I just thought it would be, you know, absolutely out of the ordinary as to what would happen. I, I think it's fun. I'm trying. I'm not trying to discourage it. I'm just giving you a possible outcome that may or may not be real. Um, Dream, you're going to have to give me a minute. Um, uh, sent you my roll. But okay. yeah, when you're when you're ready. Yeah, and did yeah. you just assume the king's gender, Victor? <laughs> <laughs> I, 
I actually had a possible feeling that this might happen because <laughs> I knew what he had for an a uh, for a drama card, and I knew it was running out. So I, or I knew he might use it. So I, it, this, this I was actually prepared for. So, anyhow, back wait, to you were prepared for me playing it on the king, uh, Craig. I know you. <laughs> I yes, know you know she knows me. I do weird <laughs> things sometimes. <laughs> I know that when you have a card, it could go a little bit different. Yes. It could go either way. Is that what you're saying? It's Grignac. <laughs> it's Grignac. I, this does not surprise me, actually. <laughs> I'm actually really happy that you did this. Your decision <laughs> process is gender fluid. <laughs> With great neck, his decision process is definitely gender fluid. Yes. Um, all right. So um, back to the conversation with Torin because I don't want to give that short shrift. Um, it, 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 we are honored to have you uh, here. Um, thank you, Master Elf, uh, for introducing uh, Torin. Uh, who are your traveling? Companions, uh, Master Prince. This is uh, my jester. His name is Merkel. Any jesters to Merkel? And Merkel does a flourishing bow. With, uh, he, gesture, he gestures to the jester. That was good. <laughs> Merkel starts this flourish with items in his hand and they disappear by the end. Nice. Give me, give me a roll. Just don't roll 99 or 100. <laughs> Okay. Ooh, nice. Very impressive. Uh, the queen claps. Like a good clap or a... Like, like, yee, that was fun. <laughs> like someone that's easily impressed or maybe has a mental handicap? No, she claps as she thought that was fun. Okay. Uh... Next to him, sorry. He gestures to no name and says, This gentleman to my left here, dressed in all black, is my chief problem solver. And he has been so faithful in his service, he has abdicated his name and chooses to go by none. Master of none of names. No name works. He'll nod or tip his hat. Okay. Oh, tip your hat. Yep. Um, folks, when you when No Name takes off his hat, because I think this is the first time he's done that in everyone's presence, uh, you notice that he is definitely losing his hair. I pay it no heed. Like it's that's the way it's always been. Sometimes that happens when you get older. <laughs> like, like I was gonna say, is it just like okay, so it's starting to go bald, or like as he pulls as he pulls off his hat, like hair literally is falling off. There, there are a few hairs that come off, but yes, he is losing his hair. I point to my right, um, where Silent Dream is standing. It says, "My chief counselor uh, and master psychic." Silent Dream is the name he has chosen from a vision quest. I just nod my head, um, bow a little. Master Silent Dream? Um, the gentleman over here, who has been a traveler with me on the seas, is uh, the first mate of one of our ships, and his name is Hebo. And then I step forward Master and I just Evo? bow down, bow down really stiffly. You can see me flexing my arms as I do so. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Hebo, he's now a bow flex. A bow oh, flex. Oh, oh my yeah. god. <laughs> yes. Well done, sir. <laughs> that was really good. That was horrible. <laughs> Uh, 
Keep going, Torin. Um, the gentleman that helps me with scouting, his name is Ursus, and he is quite the beast of a man. Master Ursus? Hey. <laughs> and Alvin. So, Ursus, hey. <laughs> <laughs> No, but he said it in like a really funky Elvin, but um, how? Oh, you have Elvin. Never mind. Yeah, he's not yeah. very good. Well, he's kind of good at it, but he's that's right. You need to. It still it don't sound right. Well, that's it's like not the 98, first... right? It is. 98 is your Elvin ninety eight or this? Yes. Oh, it is. Okay, never mind. But he still talks with a weird accent when he speaks natural Elvin, when he tries to speak natural Elvin. Agreed. Okay. Probably grunt to them. Mm. And no prince or royal member of a family would be served well without an emissary of the gods. That chosen emissary is this gentleman to my left. Uh, he has gone by many names. Knack of Greg, uh, Pleasure of the Goddess Bast, and his official title is Priest. May I present to you Grignac of Keratom. Majesties, he says and bows deeply. Yeah. The uh, king comes up and walks up to Grignac. Um, so, Dream, you failed. Oh, that roll failed? Okay. Yep. Um, and yes, there's a reason why outside one roll succeeded with a higher percentage and inside one roll didn't I'm not, I'm not arguing it, it's fine. I just wanted to let you know so you don't think I'm not paying attention to that. Um, so the king walks up to Grignac and says... And what priest was it? Uh, what god or goddess do you worship? I uh, stand up, put both hands around the, uh, well, Sporin, right in front of my, uh, <laughs> that has prominently the symbol of Bast, and say, I serve Bast, Majesty. He's looking at where you placed your hands. And says, oh, I see. <laughs> we may have things to discuss. I have been interested in the goddess Bast. Well, he is the one who aims um, and, and he reaches out and touches you. Um, sorry, Torn. Your Majesty, if you wish to have a private conversation with him, I'm sure that can be arranged. Uh, we, we must go to dinner now. And, uh, just as he says that, there is a ringing of bells. Um, and rather than the clanging of metal, it seems that they are, oh, Jesus, Really? What the hell was that for? If it had even been one higher, I would have used a, you know... Yeah, but, you were, and, and by the way, I did say whisper it. Uh, you, oh, shit. Yeah, Sorry. but um, since it's public, um, do you have an ace? I spent my ace so I could be a, a uh, elf. Okay. Does someone have an ace for Grignac? Uh, Grignac, um, when uh, he was... I'm going to publicly say it since Grignac spilled the beans anyways on the roll, so might as well make it out there. I will trust that out of character and in character, you guys will be able to tell the difference. Um, but uh, I asked Grignac to save versus magic, and uh, he rolled natural one. Oh, boy. 
Grignac, how important is it to you to make the save? Because Merkel does have an ace. <laughs> you should do it because someone spent mine when I wasn't there. Uh-huh. And I yeah, spent and one Merkel spent before. his, if I recall. Was it was it Merkel that spent yours? Or was it someone else that spent yours while you weren't there? I don't remember. I'll but there is president. The I vote yes. Well, I I aided Indris's ventriloquism of Gwydion with my previous ace. Yes, you did. <clears throat> Your choice, Grignac. Been offered to you. Um, with the fact this was whispered, I think it's really, really important that I succeed. All right. So, Merkel will use his ace to. Uh, to make allow Grignac to succeed. I'm and going to take it off his sheet right now. All right, Merkel will... Um, uh, just make sure you tell him why and what the situation is. I guess as the king is mentioning dinner and doing this, mm -hmm. Merkel will... Uh, oh, dinner? It's about time. We've gone all day without eating. I would love to be able to eat and perform for you at the same time. And he pulls out and he starts doing a, a juggling act. <laughs> um, as a, I don't know, I'm trying to kind of get something for why something he did would have affected Greg Nancy. I like it. I like it. I like it. Um, just roll a percentage. Don't roll a 99 or 100. There we go. 71. Okay. Um, you are literally performing and eyes go to you uh okay greg neck remember it was an ace um which means it's an automatic success on your save versus magic so congratulations Yep, I actually tossed it in my notes. Um, cool. And uh, so, uh, you... Head to dinner. Um, Priest, can dinner? I have a moment? Priest Majesty. Warren wants you before... May I have a word with my... Uh... Religious yeah. advisor. He just, you know, they 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 say, please, please do not dawdle. The, we do, you do not want your dinner to become cold. Of course not. Ste step aside with Torin. I would never do anything that would harm our group. Just so you're aware of that. But that will be the last time you ever hear your name pronounced from my lips if you continue to insult me. And he walks away. <laughs> I love the internal strife. <laughs> so much fun. <laughs> so, um, uh, as you are walking I, and performing, uh, I, Michael, I, uh, GM. I reach out my hand and I stop and, I'm, and I say, so you're saying because I have an accent given to me by my life in Karyitim and I'm pronouncing your name Tarun, not intending it as being an insult, that I have insulted you? Plenty of people have pointed out how my name is pronounced. Even Merkel made an effort to get it right. I made an effort to make sure that you were given a grand introduction because you are the holy representation of the gods of light. You represent Bast as much as you represent my god, and I would never impugn Ra. I make an effort to get it right. I only ask that you try to do the same for me. Unless it is a social custom of your people to not pronounce names and to assign nicknames like Ursus does. 
that is a social custom among his people. And even he tries to make them polite and at least godly was given the name godly because of his station, not because of an insult or a joke or a slur. But that's the point. To Our food is I, getting cold. I'm not here to debate this with you. I'm not attempting to debate, but simply to explain. And in no way have I... Talk. And he walks along with you. In no way have I ever meant to insult you. It's simply... The syllables are pronounced differently where I'm from. Work harder. It, do you know how long it took me to actually sound as though I was from Karyatum? And how many beatings I had to endure until even in a half-awake state, I actually would come out with those pronunciations? Do you have any idea what it took to slay a dragon that murdered my parents? Or what I had to endure in order to get the skill to do that? I get that we came from hard lives. Work harder. We eat, we all are in crisis because we are isolated loners who have a story to tell. Work harder. The I gods expect as much. And I would never do this publicly to you, which is why I asked to talk to you privately. Of course, in no way have I meant to insult you. So, since your name is an insult on my lips, I shall from henceforth call you prince as your title in no way meant to insult but as I may not be able to properly pronounce your name I will accept prince or if there is another nickname you find that is appropriate I will accept that as well I don't that give Ursus rubs off on people with customs I don't give nicknames I simply attempt to Provide things properly, but yes, I shall call you Prince as I never intended to insult. That's fine. Okay, guys. I Merkel, saw what you wrote. I saw it. what he wrote. It was so funny. Yeah, but I want to hear it. <laughs> Merkel said. <laughs> and someday, when you get it right, you'll call him the dwarf formerly known as Prince. <laughs> I stop. I look at him just before we start to take our seats. That's an acceptable option. <laughs> so, is he going to start dressing in all purple now that he changed his name? <laughs> purple rain. Purple rain. Um, he walks in, takes a seat, looks at the king. Apologies for my tardiness, and thank you for your indulgence. Uh, you you arrive just as the first course is being served, and uh, the queen says, "Oh, this is fine. It's your f you're, you're most welcome. Please uh, uh, take my seat." And she motions to the uh, foot of the table, um, and uh, sits uh, next to you uh, on the side. Um, he rather waits than for her, her to usual sit. chair. Um, Whether, she, wherever she decides to sit, he waits yeah. for her to sit. She, she sits. And pretty then quickly. he sits. And where is um, the remaining chair for uh, Grignac to take? Oh, there, 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 there was a, there, there's actually a chair uh, ne opposite the queen uh, next to uh, the prince. All right. Your Majesty. Um. Yes, Jews. <laughs> <laughs> Trying to find that right octave? Would it well, be, no, both of them are saying it at the same time. <laughs> oh, okay. Would it be okay if the priest gave this wonderful meal of yours a benediction of sorts or a blessing? Uh, the king looks up Briefly, the queen looks down. Um, and after a moment, uh, uh, the king says, uh, it, it is not our custom, but yes. 
then I thank you again for allowing my custom to be displayed among your court. Um, Grignac, give me a save versus psionics. Uh, I don't. I think I have. Merkel, like a- I did respond finally. Sorry, it took me so long. Um, I, I what I need to know is if you're going to try and grab anything. It depends on what I see, I guess. Um, everything seems to be. Uh, oh, fuck. Nice. Uh, you definitely. Now that's see- a roll. <laughs> that yeah, roll. bitches. Nice roll. <laughs> um. And uh, Merkel, uh, it, it, they they all seem ridiculously valuable to you. Um, this is expensive crap, really ancient expensive crap. Um, uh, but it, it, you know, you they're all ornate, and they're all having, and they're all related. They're all elven. Obviously, Elvin. All right, he's not going to try and take anything at this point, but uh, he's, you know, keeping his options open. Got it. Um, and just, just a real quick, uh, because I don't want to get really tied down, but what you're walking through is crystal rooms i mean literally everything is made of crystal Uh, the walls are made of crystal the floor is crystal the ceiling is crystal Uh, and on pillars uh occasionally there are items of art um some statues both small and large there are tapestries in pretty much every single hallway um this is an ancient elven city and it is it looks even wealthier and more more kingly than should I tell you guys um, you should tell us hey hey, hey hippo who, who, how, how how's our uh, follower list currently what do you mean? Viewer, um, yeah. It, it, can I can I say something publicly? Yeah, you that can. I shouldn't say publicly. Go for it. Kevin just logged on to Skype. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Kevin Ness is for real. <laughs> you, know, you better log into that account. That's not my account. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you should totally not. Log into it, wink. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Victor, so whenever we're ready, I have the uh, prayer that has been requested of me from the Okay, place. so uh, just uh, to finish my thought, sorry. Um, so, so this place looks like... Uh, you know, the, 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 the old British palaces or Versailles or... I mean, it is just death out. Um, go ahead, Greg Neck. All right, so Greg Neck stands up at uh, his uh, uh, seat, puts his hands on his hips. Everyone give me a perception roll, put it into the turn order. <laughs> I had to do it. We need, we need tokens in the turn order. Oh, shit. My fault. I forgot I switched yeah, I think maps. This one is, is empty, and a lot of times it just doesn't transfer us. Yeah, no, no, no. It's just every time we move maps, I have to add it, and I forgot. Well done, Dream. Dang, dream. Damn, no name. That's oh, opposite. Yeah. There's other numbers, guys. <laughs> just saying. Actually, I'm going to just simply say if one more person outside of Merkel goes above 17. It's actually fitting. <laughs> So I'm missing Kibo. Okay, so much for me. And Torrent, yeah, okay. Ooh, jeez, okay, never mind. Uh, I'll have to whisper it. No name just looks blankly in front of him. <laughs> <laughs> Is no name even like... Well, no, we haven't started yet, never mind. Yeah. 
But yes, no name just looks blankly. That's fine. <laughs> that tapestry looks familiar. <laughs> Guys, you don't need to put it in right now. I'm just adding turns for future. Um, I've got it. Uh, Dream, I'll whisper to you in a, me in a moment. Um, hey, did I make a token for Hebo? Yes, you did. In fact, the only person that doesn't have a token right now is Merkel. Oh, oh God, I'm so sorry. I, I it's okay. I, I, I forgot to mention for it. I didn't even think about it. <laughs> I, so you're I get fine. Home, I'm going to do it like Monday night or something. Yeah. Um, is that an important perception or not? I'm sorry? How important is this perception? Uh, not very. Okay. Truth be told. <clears throat> Although I can't believe I'm giving that to you, but yeah, I'm giving that to you because I'm just being, I'm a giver tonight. I'll so take everything you got. The king's going to be a giver to tonight, oh, I'm too. I'm talk to him about his givingness. Uh, <laughs> All right, so um, go ahead. You you were you placed your hands on your hips. Continue. Best queen of size and grand dam of doms, we come. And just as he says "come," he thrusts his <laughs> hips forward before you and dedicate this meal in your most sensual honor. We know that even as this food fuels our bodies and passions, even so do those passions fuel you. Take from us your pleasure in this simple offering, Amun Ra. Amun Ra. Amun Ra. Ra. Um. Okay. So. Uh, Amun Ra. <laughs> <laughs> I love the late one. <laughs> That's a classic. Uh. So. Dinner is um, absolutely phenomenal. Um, it is worthy of uh, a prince visiting a king from another land. I, it is beyond good. Um, one of the top three meals you have ever received, if not the top. Um, you mean it's better than... Uh... The prince is uh, zero one that he uh, yeah. provided. It, it would it, it it is definitely on par with that. I it, it would be a coin flip depending on whether or not you preferred dwarven food versus elven food. <laughs> uh, would be the d distinction. Um, yeah, I think I've met a new best friend. I don't even know this man. <laughs> um, yeah, because I rolled a zero two. <laughs> so I mean, I'll, I'll tell you straight out this this one's this one's pretty damn close, and honestly, it's a matter of taste whether you like dwarven or elven. Um. So uh, after dinner, uh, the queen uh, says, "Oh, I must get my beauty rest. I I cannot stay up as late as you men. I'll." I'll be retiring. And uh, she uh, kisses each one of you on the cheek. Um, each one of you, other than Greg Knack, give me a saving throw versus magic. Um, it, put it in the turn order, please. Oh, yikes. Uh, Greg Knack, um, she does not kiss you. She uh, bows in front of you and takes your hand. Saving throw versus what? Magic. Oh. So and does please that... remember, folks, that that you know that this is not with any aid of any magic items, any rune bonuses, unless the rune item was given to you from a god, etc., etc., etc. Yeah. Well, that's what I needed to ask. The item that, uh... Tebow. Oh, no. <laughs> that's good, right? One? Two, yeah, one. it's <laughs> really it's good. No it's good. No. good. <laughs> it's really good. The, uh, <laughs> the item that Merkel got from Lichtland, does that count as a rune item? That counts. That is, no, no, that counts. It's a given from a god. 
No, but because we don't know its abilities, I don't. I didn't know if it would add the bonus or not. What do you mean you don't know the abilities? The abilities are spelled out on the item page. Are they? Okay. They are. Oh, God. Tell me he didn't put it on this page. I thought he did. I'll, I'll talk to you more about this. Um, I think you're just not remembering something. It's fine. We'll talk more on the oh. next one. Uh, eh? No, I'm not. He he got a he got a knife, right? He got requiem. Or yeah, why did he put Nass dagger from Lictalon? Oh, because Nass was from Lictalon. Yeah, that requiem was, was requiem from was from the Duke. That's right. Yeah. yeah. So I was asking about Nass. Oh shit! He doesn't know. <laughs> um. That's right. He has not used it yet. Um, there's a. Uh, I need to whisper this to you. It's a small rash. It starts small. There's a cream for it. You know. <laughs> um, sensation. So, uh, no name and Hebo um, both uh, say that they must retire as well. And nice job, no name and jumping. The gun and actually getting that right. I'm giving you XP for it. Um, the uh, they're like, do you need to be shown your room? No, I'll find it. <laughs> uh, she, she, uh, she, uh, she's she's happy, 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 happy to show you. Show you. Suddenly, I'm getting Suddenly back. I'm back. Someone's headset. Someone's headset. I think it's Brian. I think it's Brian. Yeah, Brian, can you mute? I think he did. Yep, he did. Okay, cool. So, um, Dream, I sent you a whisper. Uh, Hebo and uh, No Name, I'm going to whisper to you both in a moment. Um, but you are both being escorted to your rooms by the Queen herself. Are you sure we're going to our rooms and not in another room? Uh, You're like, I'll, I'll whisper you that. <laughs> I'll whisper to you. Thank you. <laughs> ah. I got a um, whisper coming to you here. I bet. I like a whisper. Um, so... Um, the rest of you, uh, the four, re five remaining, <laughs> she likes balding men, since Hebo is mostly bald, no name's getting there. <laughs> bald by choice. <laughs> I've got the Benjamin Franklin look. <laughs> she likes to polish knobs, whether they're big or small. Uh... Okay, percentage drink. <laughs> I'm like, do you want me to fly a kite with a key attached to it? It does not work. Stream, there we are. Okay. Uh. Um, so, the rest of you are sitting with the king. Um, and he says... Same thing, Dream. I know, it's coming. <laughs> I was just going to do it while you were talking. Ooh, shit. Okay. Um, a moment. I have to finish my whispers here. And that, that was supposed to say bed, not bedroom, not home. <laughs> no name. Who's logged in as Horse Feathers? <laughs> what? Where? <laughs> I just realized, Greg Deck, that that's still there. I never took you off that, so I, I started Hebo with the H, and I'm like, Horse Feathers. I'm like, holy shit, I forgot about that. <laughs> um. 
I don't know who it is, but I whispered him. <laughs> <laughs> if I hear pounding, it's Craig. <laughs> <laughs> um, the king says, so, uh, Prince Torin, uh, what brings you to this isolated kingdom and why are you really here? And he gets rather serious. Brian? I think he's still mute and muted. Sorry about that. No worries. The god Ra sent me to put together the pieces of Osiris. Pieces of Osiris? Yes. Oh, I must consult with your priest uh, about this. Uh, I have no objection to this. And legend states that there is a piece here. Hmm. I, I will consult with your priest for uh, uh, a bit. Please, um... Uh, Let them show them to their rooms. I, I will speak to you again in the morning about these I, these matters. I, I have a small request, or at least I one I hope is small. Yes. There were some dwarves that mentioned uh, they were from Alpineberg. Uh, did you have a contingent of dwarves here? Uh, yes, there there is a community of dwarves uh, here. I, Interesting that you know of Alpineberg. Uh, who the Inquisitor who came in to greet me at the inn a few a day ago um, noticed the Ring of Ithan and then mentioned that there were dwarves in Alpineberg. I don't even know where this Alpineberg is, but he said the name of the town. I'm uh, assuming it's a town. Yes, there uh, there is a uh, contingent of dwarves. In fact, many uh, serve here. In fact, you should have seen a couple of dwarven soldiers uh, flanking me when you entered. Uh, yes, uh, we uh, have long ago uh, put away the silly items. Uh, oh, I am so happy to hear that. From where the royal families of the elves and the dwarves went to, we also came to that same conclusion that this madness needed to stop. And uh, those are unfortunate, archaic ep echoes of the past. Would it be okay if I had a drink or two with some of the dwarves that are here in this castle? Uh, I would like to meet some of them if possible. Um, and surely one of them could show me to my room when we got tired of whatever we were discussing. Uh, please feel free. The, you are a prince uh, of an ancient lineage. Uh, I'm sure that uh, gather the dwarves uh, that are... Uh, uh, awake. Uh, they wish to uh, uh, speak with uh, uh, Ma uh, Prince Torin wishes to speak with them. Uh, please uh, gather them in the main hall. Bring any ale you have. Uh, and yes, and bring as much, uh, bring all the ale stores. It will be a long night. Your majesty is too kind. Um, who's joining uh, <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm getting bombarded about other things in Whisper. Um, I could just tie me up and we don't need to see GM, I sent you a recent one. <laughs> I saw that. <laughs> That's actually what set me off laughing. Um, 
Uh, <clears throat> all right. So, um, so uh, who is joining Torin? Because I know that Crisis will not leave someone alone. Oh, Ursus is there, and whatever ale, he's like. <laughs> you had me. Yeah, I was going to say you had me at ale. Yes, <laughs> and, okay. and he'll say, "No, not the little pony kegs. Bring the casts." And wants to carry one under each arm. Green neck. It's it just really, really, really seems weird with with its horse feathers. That saying. <laughs> now what you you know what you hear is screams of no not the chair so the horse is saying no not the chair <laughs> the chair <laughs> oops sorry I laughed it in horse feathers no Chris that's what I'm saying it's, it's <laughs> even funnier that way it's like Chris what? was sending uh, horse feathers chats. <laughs> There is a level of porn that just visualized in my head that I don't need. Exactly. That's where I was going. I was like, oh my god, Lord, no. You have Who's been to Tijuana? Yeah, okay. Uh, it's moving on. Pegasus porn! <laughs> Keep the wings out of the way. Yes. Yeah. The wings just make it more fun. Uh, anyways, oh god, Honeysuckle wants in on this party. <laughs> of course she does. Of course she does. <laughs> okay. Well, anyways, there's, there's an after party of dwarves. Sound uh, um, drinking. Sounds like they're going to need some entertainment. So Merkel's in. So so Dream Merkel and Heba. Uh, Dream and Merkel, where are you? Oh god, am I muted? No. Okay. Yeah. No, Merkel's you're not. Gonna go. Mirko was going to go uh, to the after party with the dwarves. Mm-hmm. And do some entertainment. Yes. Sounds like they can nice. do some entertainment. As, as they're walking over, he says to Torin, so if you're looking for an icebreaker, I recommend this. Why do dwarves have such big nostrils? Because they have big fingers. <laughs> <laughs> he starts laughing because it's actually kind of funny. <laughs> Oh, I knew there's a reason we keep you around. <laughs> and, and dream. I'm not just another pretty face. And dream. Uh, I guess uh, if Dream's going to be the only one left alone, he'll go as well. But was Grignac okay. staying behind also, or was he going with Torrin? Um, uh, no, no, Grignac was um, going oh. with the king. In religious discussions with the king. In very religious oh discussions God. with the king. Um, Dream is going to go with Grignac. Dream well, is not allowed to go with Grignac. Before you head off, could I just speak with Grignac first, Your Majesty? Uh, uh, of course. Um, give me a perc. No, it wouldn't be perception. Um. Give me a percentage roll, Dream. That's good enough for this one. Um, you sense that um, the king is listening to you. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. All right. Um, nice job. I decided it was 35. You made it by two <laughs> <laughs> I decided I'd give you a little bit of a bonus on this one. I'm I'm going to say to Grignac. Um He's listening to us, but remember no. you have all of Grignac's skills. No. Is I that passed by now? It would it would be mostly past. It'd be it'd be low percentages to call back the memories. Okay. The reason I mention it is because uh, Grignac has sign language. Oh, he can't listen to that. Uh, you can assume or not assume that he knows the skill, but yeah, you wouldn't be able to listen to it. All right. But so I'm going gonna... to have sign language. No, Dream doesn't have sign language. Grignac has Grignac. sign language. 
and we did the sharing. So if he can yes. recall it. All right. So what's well, the percentage for you, Dream, now at this point? Well, reflexively, because this is what Dream would normally do, and he's not used to being unable to access any abilities, he would try mm -hmm. to just use total recall to bring back the memory. All right. Percentage. I'm going to roll for that. Roll under 30. Oh, did not. <laughs> I'll give you a uh, luck point on that. Oh, that's a long stretch for a luck point. Dude. Hey, I know it's a long stretch, but he's been going up and down and up and down. So I don't, said. I don't have a luck point, but can I give him a queen point? <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'll, I'll, I'll try. Well, you were giving a giving the queen yeah, a point. Ah, yeah. oh, crap! That was a waste I'll of use my point. second one. Oh, apparently I have uh, an oh, ace. Let me, let me use my, let me use wait, my luck points. Wait, are you wait. going to use your ace for this? No, I was just saying I I just noticed it. <laughs> I just noticed it. Oh, I've got one. In the middle of what you're doing, you just now noticed you have an ace. <laughs> well, it's not like I was going to use it on that. <laughs> Is this supposed to be a punishment? <laughs> I, I was going to say, you know, it may or may not be a punishment, depending on your viewpoint. I was questioning Did that you myself. Get, yeah, it's, you know... We 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 went to uh, Jack in the Box and got a um that those taco meals the munchy meals after the, the late night munchy meal. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> All right. So instead of Greg Nack spending his second luck point of the night, I'll spend one of Dreams. Okay. Oh sh First. nope, that doesn't count. That doesn't count. First. That Come still on. doesn't count. Come on. There, there we go. go. Yeah. Ah. All right. Oh yeah. Did you get my G uh, whisper? Uh, yes, you do. Oh yeah. <laughs> right, like so we am... like we discussed, um, there are certain drawbacks. Oh, uh, and well, it in just think of that new uh, um, song by Daft Punk. It, it's just um, uh, it, I want you to share with Hebo. Uh, the drawback that we discussed because he would see that in fact he would see you so you no, should share it, with it's a dark Kiba. room it's a dark room it is not a dark room oh i blew out the candles um the crystal <sighs> walls are glowing i, I put I, I put a blanket over <laughs> no <laughs> You get to share with Evo what's okay. going on with you. All right, All right. so I am, I'm going to send a whisper to Grignac for what I'm going to say in sign language, but what, mm -hmm. I, what, what Dream speaks is uh, just something appropriate. Uh, you know, Grignac, we're going to... No, gonna... not something appropriate. Actually, give me something. Yeah. Since the king is listening. So we will... Will we expect to see you at, at the prince's party later on? Or will you be all night, um, such as our friends, retiring straight to bed? So, Grignac, verbally, what do you answer? I don't care about the whisper. That's between you two. But verbally, what do you say to Dream? Craig, can you have type and have a different conversation? Oh, sorry, I was muted. And I kept trying to say it, and you kept interrupting me, and I'm going, I'm trying to say it! Yeah. Mm -hmm. Go ahead. Well, I think that uh, after the king and I have our discussion that I shall retire. Okay. Well, you know where to find us. If you change your mind. Okay, great. Now. Yes, I know where to find you. So, um, everyone else out of character, because it's just much faster this way. Um, Greg Nack, so um, you you head up to the um, room with the king. Uh, are you participating or not participating? Because um, he's very interested. It's just him, right? Just them? It's just him. Okay, good. Well, this is Grignac. Grignac always participates in any worship of Bast. Okay, 
um, I cannot do the same thing against you. So um, he thinks that you're giving in to everything that he was trying to do. <laughs> um, as long as you don't roll a 99 or a 100 right now. All right. Yeah, as long as I don't absolutely fail on my sex roll. Yep, as long as you don't absolutely fail on your sex roll. Because you, you've you already conned him enough that, yeah, it was that good. All right, well done. Um, cool. So, um, we're going to fast forward to next morning as long as Torin's okay with that. I, I The dwarves are very happy here. They're, uh, they, I try they to have one of those life. nights where Torin remembers what it was like to be the irreverent um, warrior monk who hung out with his troops and, you know, was it one of the dudes. It takes them a while to come around to that because to them, you're, you're an Ithan. <laughs> it, 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 it takes quite a long time for them to warm up to you. Then we'll start with a drinking a contest lot and then they start of to alcohol. Lose. Yeah, et cetera, et cetera. You get the idea. So everyone is sloshed um versus well, Yes. Even you eventually you're like one of the last ones standing. And I'm dragging dwarves behind me. Come on, you can drink more than that. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Um, but here's the interesting thing. Well, somebody's going to say something. I will try and treat Torin more buddy, buddy, like not Prince like when we start and, and to drink helps. to try and, and that helps and that helps warm everything up. Um, how, however, um, you'll note that Torin this time, Torin, just roll a 20. Don't roll under a five. All right. Well, let's do this. <laughs> Come on. It's not under a five. There you I'm go. looking at the virtual dice, and on one side of the 13 is a one, on the other side is a five. I'm like, <laughs> 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 oh, As if it's taunting dirt. me, like, next time, little man, next time. <laughs> this time, Torrid actually keeps up with you. Oh, with um, me? Yes. Okay. Yeah, I'll, um, I'll share the, the like, sorry. towards the middle of the evening, I'll share the uh, Demon's Brew story just to kind of break things up. Okay. No name. Um, you and Hebo roll straight in. in we already right rolled. Now. We already rolled. Roll, roll. No. I'm asking you to roll now. Oh. 1d100 um, again? Both of you, no. Both of you roll 1d20, one, one roll the straight and over 12. Yeah, no gay twenties. So nobody likes those. Oh guys. no! I <laughs> <laughs> you jinxed us. You jinxed us. Uh, I'm tempted to use my ace. This is a good point to use. <laughs> but but I won't. he said you over two twelve. Know. And yeah, neither of you two over. know. It's up to you. No, we both failed. We yeah, we accept hey, it. Yeah. <laughs> Hey, no name. What you have to remember is what happens in the Crystal Palace stays, stays in the Crystal in the Palace. Crystal Palace. <laughs> <laughs> okay, no. <laughs> yeah, it does. Hebo, you're safe. I don't know. You, Hebo, you use your net. <laughs> currently, currently, the winning the winning uh, name for this this uh, session is Cross Swords, but anyway. <laughs> yeah, don't use your don't use your luck point. <laughs> you might as well just name it, you know, Unending on un un Part 2 or something. <laughs> okay. I don't know, I think Crossing Swords is pretty appropriate. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome, Hebo. <laughs> Welcome, Hebo. <laughs> Welcome, Hebo. <laughs> He's like, I could have been doing so many other things tonight. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, now these dwarves get to basically say, like, I hung out with an Ithan, and he wasn't it. He was cool. Yeah, he was cool. Yeah. Um, all right. So, uh, unless anyone has any objections, I'm going to go to the next morning. Um, I wanted to, while we're partying, uh, mm -hmm. I wanted to have a moment um, 
to be able to like speak privately to uh, to Ursus and to Torin. Torin, and I think yeah, they're the only ones there, right? It's just us three. Yep. It's all the dwarves. Yep. yep. Okay. Well, the dwarves are all drunk, passed out. Um, go ahead. Um, say it publicly because at this point, um, no name and Yibo are figuratively <laughs> and literally screwed. Um, <laughs> no, I, I keep going. I, look what happened to them in the bar stool. That's horrible. How did that happen? So, yeah. so Torin and Ursus, uh, Dream comes up to you earlier in the party before everyone's totally drunk, and lets you know that uh, I did sense great evil coming from the king. Um, near the end of our dinner, I was able to finally break through whatever's holding back my powers. I I did get a message to Grignac about that before he went off. Okay. But I just wanted to make sure you knew as well. The I'm evil I can sense attacked yet. The evil I can sense usually is something not of not mortal. I remember reading your stories. <laughs> That's not creepy. Um, <laughs> sorry, sorry, Torrin, but that does that sound. I I know all about you. <laughs> and then he looks at him. GM, read your read your thing. That's fine. Tell he about that. Go ahead. Continue, folks. Sorry. No, so Dream says that to Torin and Ursus, and um, as we party through the night, I do try to keep wary of what's going on around us. I try not to drink too much. That's fine. Um, but I also do remember that I am as a dwarf right now. <laughs> so I'm sure I gotta be oh, drinking crap. something and fit That's in. right. Give me a percentage roll. Um, roll under 60%. And, and yes, 70, congratulations, right? Grignac. <laughs> and sorry, Dream, you're not that you're not that sober. Yeah, another dwarf. You, a, you know what? I'll give it to you because you rolled a sixty-nine. <laughs> I'll give it to you. That's what she said. Enough. I'll give it to you. I'll give it to you, baby. <laughs> Take it, Dave. Take it. Oh, Dream takes it. That's what she said, too. (laughs) (laughs) Oh, Lord. It was a soothing sound. (laughs) Which soothing sound? No one's got to pull the camera scroll. Just saying. Oh, Lordy. Um, Okay. So, next morning. What a night to come. Oh, God, Dream. Really? Really? (laughs) No, that's what she said when he was done. (laughs) He wasn't done. That's part of the problem. Uh, (laughs) Because neither is she. (laughs) Okay, so um, just just an aside. Um, No name, Hebo and I have been uh, whispering back and forth. Um... So, uh, obviously, folks, it's pretty obvious who these people are at this point. So, the king and queen are both pandemonians. And um, so, No Name uh, kept saying he outlasted her, and I kept saying, no, she didn't. And we went back and forth for a while, and then he's like, well, we're still going when Hebo wakes back up. (laughs) (laughs) So I thought that was perfect. (laughs) (laughs) And then Hebo said, and I'll let Hebo say it. Can I get back in on this? Yes, please. Oh, before that. (laughs) Oh, is that what you said? (laughs) (laughs) What you whispered me. I don't even remember what I whispered you. (laughs) About the soothing sounds. Oh, oh, yeah, you're right, you're right. Yeah, the soothing sounds of you two rocking each other back and forth to put me to sleep. <laughs> <laughs> then we, when he woke up, he's like, can I get back in? And it kept going. I tag him in. <laughs> and eventually, you know, the, the bells rang for breakfast. 
uh, we, uh, I, I ask, I'm like, are you hungry? I'm not. <laughs> she's like, we have to go. It's just proper. All right, then tap out. <laughs> and she taps twice. <laughs> He probably raised my hand. People want to make breakfast. That's up to you two, but she's going down for breakfast. No, I'm saying raise my hand like I want. <laughs> Otherwise, I'll have to get Vince McMahon in here. <laughs> I, I lift his arm straight up. I'm pointing at him. <laughs> I don't even have the ability to say don't make it awkward because... <laughs> it's way, way too late, late for that. <laughs> All right. Uh, thank God for the warning that this is an adult channel. Um, <laughs> hey, Chris. Then um, why are we acting like such children? <laughs> <laughs> That's very true. Hey, hey Chris, um, please uh, remind me that I need to like put some warning on the YouTube channel. Okay. Because I, it's not there, and I just realized that. I'm like, oh crap! <laughs> it's all good, especially on this session. Uh, yeah, no <laughs> kidding. Disclaimers rule. Uh, uh, yeah, exactly. Yep. <laughs> 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 Don't call it cross swords. Call it cock block. It, it, no, it was it was guiding. It's hilarious to me that there was this big deal about Numenera coming out with a book about a, a you know a, a literal single book about sexual practices, and and I'm like, well yeah, you know, Palladium did that in first edition fantasy years and years ago. Mm -hmm. They were literally the first to include a sex skill in their game. Now, they don't have it anymore, but they were the first. We should yeah. ask Kevin to bring it back. I, 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 it's 2016. Actually, or 2017. It's 2017, yeah. Thank, Thank you for watching. Palladium great again. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, great. I mean, it's already great, so make it even greater. It's... Oh, wow. Does he make the best games? Always the best games? Yeah. Absolutely always the best games. Nothing but the Can't best Can't you game. see? Nothing but the best game. <laughs> Look at my Actually, track record. Yeah. Being Look a... We're so, we're so proud. So proud. Look at crowds. <laughs> we had such a great speech. Um, anyways. Uh, <laughs> um, it, it hinted at it, Dream. Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah. So here's a good point for break number two. Get into the morning of the 8th. <clears throat> Alright. Okay, we'll be back after our 10 minute break. Uh, see everyone at 55. Please hit cameras. Thanks. You mean uh, 57? Yeah, 57. Okay, 57 for all of you. Oh, shit, it's 57. My computer's got the wrong time. My fault. Okay. Alright, we'll be back.
are back hello everybody welcome back let's join the call and get this party going hello hey hi i see no cameras <laughs> <laughs> yeah, enjoy for everybody else dude i was like dude guys it's 10 minutes i actually and think the gm isn't back yet is he pooping <laughs> <laughs> I think they might be in the main book, actually, Dream. There's a bunch of demons in the back section. Yeah, I've, I've only, and I haven't looked through all the books, I've only seen the, uh, I've only seen them in the dive book, and they mention in there that they're, like, really rare. So that's why I just thought they might not be in the main book, but I don't know, maybe they are. Hi! What's up? So Welcome back. Did you guys all get your, um... Grab bag stuff in yet? Yeah, I got my last grab bag a couple of days ago. 
everything I asked for. Of course, um, oh, nice. ironically, probably not what game we're playing, but oh well. <laughs> I, I, I think I've I think I've asked for this book in my last three, and I didn't get it in any of them. Ouch! <laughs> it may be out, dude. No, they reprinted it. They made a big deal. Um, uh oh. <laughs> I got. Maybe it's out again, but. I got two main books, so I didn't get the. Mm. Uh, I got Galaxy. Two main books. Well, I got Galaxy Guide and mm -hmm. um, After the Bomb. <laughs> so, I got nice part of my list, but not everything. But I was pretty pumped that I got After the Bomb. But that was at the top I, of the list anyway. I got two this year, and and both of them were ridiculously padded so I'm really happy oh nice um and and uh I didn't think I, that I, I was did get anime. both thank you Dave for suggesting that I actually get the cards to use if we ever did Savatrus and just to get them because the cards are amazing oh my god those card those poker decks those oh yeah so totally there's there's two yeah, palladium like poker decks um so they're, they're decks of cards. One is all color art from Palladium books. The other is black and white from Palladium books. And it, it's all art that has appeared in pages. In, in And damn, they're good. They're really nice. It, they're really awesome. Anyways. Um, so, uh, Brian, by the way, if you don't have your phone anywhere near you, I, Maybe I next break. The other, it, well, yeah, it's just it's near the. Um, uh, I have it charging in another outlet. It's on the other side of the room. Okay, so before next break, grab it. I texted you a few times on the break. Oh, sorry. Uh, give me one second. I'll run over and get it. Real quick. No, no, no. It's okay. It, it it's not important now. <laughs> um, it, it no, was, I texted you a bunch of shit, but I don't want you to check it right now. So now it's the only thing I can fucking check <laughs> out. <laughs> Every text is going to be like, call me, call me, call me. It, 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 it was, you know, <laughs> can you talk, basically. So, yeah. Just anyway. call me. I'll, I'll re hear it ring, and I'm like, oh, I need to figure out who right, that is. I get it. I texted you instead. It's my own fault. I was also texting with the wife, so it's fine. Um, that, by the way, the wife is back in Henderson. Um, Great. Prepping, not prepping for... Prepping for the father, you know, prepping for her father to get remarried in less than a month. Sweet. Well, at least there's some happiness. There is. So, okay. So, um, yeah, I have a, uh, um, okay, so, um, the, uh, the next morning uh, comes, there's ringing of bells again, um, and again, not clanging, but more like, you know, crystal tinkling of bells. Um, and <laughs> breakfast is served. Uh, oh, was there the chance for meditation and recovery last night? Yes, I said that. Oh, sorry, um, that. Um, however, yeah, you got because, to meditate after you passed out. Yeah, no, he didn't pass out. Um, well, that was, that was oh, that's right, he did pass out. That's right, he did pass out. Sorry, no. Well, I still recover something, so I need to know how many hours it's been then. Um, four? <laughs> Mine was still relaxing, I was meditating. Ah, bull crap. You were not meditating at all. <laughs> <laughs> well, I come down to breakfast wearing my title championship belt. Yeah, no name. What you were doing was more oh mama as opposed to om, om. <laughs> <laughs> Same thing, right? <laughs> um, I think he was doing yeah. the downward kitty. <laughs> I bump into no name as we're walking and I just jump like really far away. <laughs> nice. is, is, this, is this is this the walk of shame they're doing? 
No, I'm I won. Uh, you hear the John Cena music. <laughs> 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 oh, that and his name is No Name. <laughs> Which makes no sense at all. <laughs> um, the dwarves didn't take you anywhere last night. Um, you, you guys stayed in the main hall. Oh, uh, okay, never mind. Um, where the torch is. Um, I'm going to move you now to the dining room. Um, but yeah, you, you, you all... Um, uh, the dwarves uh, and Ursus and Torin and Dream uh, were... Uh, uh, in, in in the uh, main hall for quite a while, and uh, I just assume I didn't go to bed. Hey, hey, no name. How's the uh, how's the boot? A lot slower. <laughs> yeah. The normal. What the hell did she, did she tell you what she put in it? Uh, is the apple, apple vodka? Something. Oh, it's apple. Holy crap! You got a boot of apple vodka? No, not the whole thing. Just a good. A good portion, yeah. A whole thing. Oh, be t- <laughs> <laughs> well, I wouldn't put it past him. You have a wife. <laughs> I know she can't hear me, but you can pass it on to her. You can't really uh, see it, but it's like green. It's not golden anymore. Oh, <laughs> oh wow! And you're getting Dude. it all over yourself too, aren't you? That was like the first time the bubble hit. Uh, oh no! I, I'm not spilling. It's called anointing. <laughs> <laughs> like there is really, there's really a bubble. If you watch Beer Fest, there's really a bubble. Turn. But it's not as like it as insane as they said. But if you're not careful, it will hit you. Yep. Yep. Oh jeez. Okay. Sorry. Um. All right. So, um, morning comes. Yes, the pun is on purpose. What? The queen's name is Morning? Uh-huh. And, uh... It, during breakfast, uh, the king stands up and says, So! I have decided... That any follower of past is one that I endorse. And the queen's eyes, like, become saucers. (laughs) I, um, I whisper to, uh, like... As a whisper, so that she can hear. So, if it's a loud whisper, that's fine. I say, I follow Kansu. <laughs> Just so you know. <laughs> and, um, give me. All right, we'll 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 do it now. Then, save her some magic. Save, 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 save. Holy crap. Oh, nice. That's a good one. Did you want mine too? Um no. <laughs> you you have not challenged her 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 at all yet. Um and she has not felt the need to challenge you. Um you hear in your head, no, you follow me. And you feel your head reject her, realize that you have spent an entire evening in her thrall, and she basically told you to reject your god, and you chose not to. Come on. Penance stare. Penance stare. Be the no name that we know you can be. No name looks down. He's like, no wonder I'm covered in blood. (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> You're not covered in blood. <laughs> Let me fix that. You may be covered in cum, but you're not covered in blood. <laughs> and now it's a adult warning. Oh, <laughs> oh man. <laughs> giggity, giggity. Praise be to Kansu. Have you read our pamphlet? Yep. <laughs> <laughs> um. 
Oh wait, she... was that one of the ones that Merkel inserted something else into? Mm-hmm. It could have been. <laughs> the pamphlet? <laughs> I don't know. Anyway, has some on his sheet though. Um I don't think I have any on my sheet. Um how far is penance there? Soul penance. It, there's no range, just eye contact. If she's looking at me, I'm gonna soul penance her. She is looking at you. <clears throat> oh jeez. Um. Standard <laughs> save. <laughs> and then I don't know. I should have to do it. In Roll <laughs> I should have to do it in World Twenty since it's public. <laughs> I just know. <laughs> I think seventeen beats your skull strength. Uh, what? What's the? What is your standard, spell. and then what's my spell? My spell strength is fourteen. Yeah, so she. That's just... so weak. I say. Mm-hmm. I say. Your spell strength is only fourteen. Yeah. Yeah. He's um, not. He's not a true spellcaster. I'm. I'm a farmer. That just knows how to cast spells. <laughs> I can I can show you my beet farm. <laughs> <laughs> oh, your mushroom farm is just so much more impressive. Oh yeah, he's been spending most of his <laughs> I have life a, I have a secret. in an Amish paradise. <laughs> <laughs> I showed Victor the um. There's a weird owl. Uh, I bet you entire did. collection <laughs> on sale. Um, yeah, no, my mushroom farm has a secret door with all the special mushrooms. <laughs> <laughs> secret back door. <laughs> yep. Well, Never mind. Okay, so. I say, by the way, it's it's spelled K-H-O-N-S-U if you need help. Dream says we can get you a pamphlet. Yeah. And then Earth I. just reaches into his bag and pulls one out. Um, <laughs> the, the king is still standing and says, so. I, I do this. I do the discount double check with my belt. Followers. Your majesty. What truly brings you here? The reassembling of the god Osiris. You are mistaken. There are no pieces of Osiris here. Ra does not lie. <sighs> Torin, give me a magic save. Please save. Nice. Yeah, that's a save. <laughs> you mean you played Pinochle? Right. Merkel, give me give me whatever you need to do to do that. As far as I know, there's nothing. It's just uh It's just spend the PPE. Sleep it's, with it's one eye open. Hugging your pillow tight. <laughs> Sorry, Merkel? No, it's just a number of times a day. Uh, through what? This will be one use. Through the ring. Uh, n negative. The ring does not work at all. Oh. Okay. Well, now he knows. <laughs> Um uh, the queen says obviously you are all mistaken it was well to entertain all of you but we will ask that you speak not of this place at all everyone save for Cyanix Put it in your turn order, please. Can we just do save versus horror and then I'll be good? No. <laughs> yeah!
I think Craig saved. I'm not sure. <laughs> you rolled a nat 20. Hey guys, I rolled a nat 3. <laughs> Ice! Oh! Nice dream. Okay, I assume with a nat 20, could I realize that she was trying to push something on us? Absolutely, both of you can. Um, I stand, I pull out the eye. Hold on, Ugh. let everyone else roll first. Luckily, oh, sorry. Sorry. <laughs> Are you sure about luck point? Uh, oh, jeez, no. Merkel. Poor Merkel. We knew you. <laughs> okay. Holy crap. Yep. Okay, I questioned the luck point. I was wrong. Uh, <laughs> Alright, so Merkel and No Name and Hebo. Oh, Hebo, you're doubly screwed. Um, <laughs> the three of you are going to get a, well, everyone but Hebo, so sorry, two of you are going to get a, 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 a re-roll when, um, Grignac and Dream do what they're about to do. So first, Grignac, since you spoke first. I rise, take out the Eye of Osiris, point it at the queen, and say, in the name of Crisis, by holy decree of Osiris, I demand that you no longer stop us from taking the kidney. And do you try and... Do something to her, or do you just yeah. hold it as a threatening gesture? I point it out to her. If she makes any move toward me, I will fire it. But you don't unless she moves. Yes. Interesting. Okay. <sighs> um, I'm saved. Um... <laughs> Uh, Dream Dream stands up as well Whatever you have just done Undo it now Oh dear I guess that I've just Spilt my milk And she looks at Hebo um. All right, everyone, give me a straight twenty. Other than Hebo, you want to roll I, low this time. I made my save. Do I have to do this as well? No, no, no. Yeah, this is just who's next to Hebo. Who are the two people next to Hebo? I think Gerses might be one of them. Ah, <laughs> uh, it's Dream. <laughs> it's not Dream. <laughs> I said you want to. Oh shit! I said you want to roll low. You're a fuck it, Dream. <laughs> Dream and Ursus. What dream's my favorite? <laughs> <laughs> I didn't see no name roll. Oh, there he is, seven. Um, who am I missing? Did I not have Merkel roll? No, I didn't. You had Merkel roll, he had a five. Ursus is at a 17. Yep, so it's Ursus and Dream. All right. Um, odd is Ursus even is dream. Remember the time you wrecked my net, Ursus? <laughs> <laughs> I remember. <laughs> I remember. One D two. Oh, yep. Okay. I said odd is Ursus even is dream. Um, dream. Uh. All right, Hebo. Net or sword? Net. All right. Net. Uh, Dream, uh, Hebo is throwing his net upon you. You can dodge or take it. I'm going to dodge. I'm going to. All right. So, Hebo, give me a strike roll. Dream, give me a dodge roll. And I'm so going Hebo, to 
That's your plus five to strike with the net plus your plus five to strike. So that's a plus 10. So 1d20 plus 10. I'm going to tumble yeah. dodge away as well. Okay. Uh-oh. Yep. Dream, you got it. And let's see if you tumbled correctly. Oh. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> I I will I will get to you in a moment, Greg Nack. So <laughs> Tebo attempts to net dream. Am I wait, standing? Wait. Yes, I will wait. Thank you. I'll I'll get into uh, there there's uh, there's one held action and then I will get into a uh, turn order for a uh, uh, straight straight off from that. Um Kibo tries to throw a net on Dream. Dream dodges, barely away, uh, tumbling so that he comes up prepared to fight. The Millennium Tree Staff is the weapon of choice I have right now. Yeah. <laughs> um, Grignac fires the Eye of Osiris at the Queen. Correct, Grignac? Correct, Your Highness. Here she is. <laughs> oh, I didn't say it in my voice. I apologize. <laughs> That's what Do she you said. fire upon me? Oh, totally. I, I shoot my love upon you her. Are you in love with my husband? Or at least no. so she thinks. Oh, yeah, totally. He just, you know, fires at the queen. Um, here's my problem. Is the rate is the eye in your inventory? Yes. Look at the uh, bast. Oh, that's right. It's in the bath symbol. There it is. Um, yeah. I'm just reminding myself. And I helps. said I pulled it from out of the bath symbol when I stood up. Yep. <laughs> um, so I'm assuming you're doing Wrath of Osiris. Yep, which does more than 10d6 damage to evil creatures. Yep, I know. Um, <laughs> so first you have to strike. It is uh, a 1d20 plus um, 10. And then your WP on this is 7. So 25 and 28, and that's a crit, so it's actually 28 and 28, and holy crap. Oh, this is going to hurt. Um, Crucify roll her! Roll 30d6, <laughs> you bitch. Woop, woop, woop. Oh, what? <laughs> oh my god, this is going to hurt. <laughs> I believe d6. On one... Yes, I may have. I, I think I'm going to have a dead queen on one shot. Oh, lots of ones. Trust, that's the problem. Tr tr trust, trust Craig to roll low. <laughs> or roll a luck point on yeah. damage. Yeah, you can. Yeah. Hey, guys, I only rolled four ones. I have three sixes and like a whole lot. A yeah. Fives. Yeah, but if you do a luck point, it'll be even better. It can only go up. Fine, if he lets me, I'll roll my. I'll use my second luck for the night. Of course, I'll let you. It's your there choice when you it. use your luck points. You know, just remember, you guys are going Lady Shara. Oh. oh, oh no! <laughs> Someone give him another one. Oh, no. oh, <laughs> oh, oh one oh two to one oh three. One oh two to one oh three. That hurts, dude. I that anyway, so. Oh. And I am three times crit. Someone so give another luck point so oh, I can be the right. true champion. Shit. That, that's 309. Wait a minute. Actually, oh, never mind. No, 306 save was originally. Save your crit. 306 would have killed her. Oh, okay. I'll save my luck point then. Yeah. Yeah, I'm sorry. Save your luck point. Yeah, yeah. we totally forgot about that. Yeah. I completely forgot about the oh, three God. times didn't I'd, put it in. Oh, God. I thought, I thought the 30d6 was because of the... No, no. Critical. Oh. Mm -hmm. No. That's the straight damage for... for Evil. Evil. 
in this case, supernatural evil. That's insane. I've never heard any. You, you think my weapons? That's, that's what happens when you invoke a Cyrus before using an Osiris piece, bitches. Yeah. <laughs> this is a piece of Osiris, and yeah. <laughs> <laughs> finally got it right. Um, <laughs> or in this case, the this priest finally got it right. Um, <laughs> nicely done. Um, uh, so, um, she, uh, she doesn't like disappear, um, and she doesn't like disappear to sand, um, which should alarm you. Um, but she does crumple to the ground, not moving. Am I close to her? Um, absolutely, you're sitting next to her. You and Hebo are on the each side of her. I go. I wonder if you just freed her from possession. I go, champion, and then I sold her. <laughs> By the way, Hebo. Yes. Um, you are you are now free of your anti-crisis feelings. I apologize. The dream, right away. Um, I'm sorry. I just wasn't no myself. Name? I had an awkward it's interaction with no name. Five on the straight twenty. Okay. I can't really soul drink, but I can at least hit her. Do, 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 through her heart. I can't drink? What do you mean? You said my weapon's deactivated. You think? Yeah. Okay, well, I'll try it. I mean, do I feel anything like I normally do when I soul drink? Give me, give, uh, give me your normal strike roll. Okay. Um, sight to hit. Um, you feel suddenly connected to Kansu as your sight strikes down her neck, severing it, and you feel the soul scream as you see with your own eyes and only your eyes Kansu welcome her in a hug oh god <laughs> and, and with that I hold up the belt over my head and I say champion <laughs> <laughs> and then the, the, the trumpeteers that announce people when they walk into the hall go boo 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 <laughs> By the way, thank you, Greg Nack. Say it, say it, no name. Say say what? Thank you, Greg Nack. Oh, thank you, Greg Nack. <laughs> <laughs> say my name, bitch. The next action still had a connection to I'll, the god. I'll give you. Do you want the head? No, I don't need the head. Um, I got plenty of head you, last you, night. you could come out ahead on this one. The body and the body hits the floor. Becomes a pandemonium. So, would you care to describe that? Sure. Let me grab the book. So he was able to soul drink because I destroyed that with the Eye of Osiris. Correct. Nice. Correct. <laughs> nice is a really good way to say that. That was beyond beautiful. <laughs> As we look at the queen or the king, you're next. This round is an over. The so, we just usurp shut when we show up in new countries, take out the current ruling class, <laughs> put in new people. <laughs> oh man, no king's ever going to invite Crisis in again. <laughs> I I, you know, hey. you guys already have a reputation as all. <laughs> uh, 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 already. That's well deserved. Yeah, all right. so, this isn't even the third kingdom this has happened in. So, um, 
They're gonna be like, um, see, the I... true appearance of the pandemonium is not described in the book, so I'm going to have some fun with this. So, um, you know the night. Blue suit, red beautiful tie, elven toupee. woman that you see it had seen before. All of you had seen before. Um, disappears and in its place. A lower body of human with arms like a horror where it has mottled hide like processed leather and claws sticking out from the elbows and the hands as if a demon claw and the neck and face are of a snake so then I described it right like from dusk till dawn yeah very similar to Dust of Dawn. <laughs> no name, you are now the second grossest thing I touched last night. <laughs> <laughs> At least that wasn't the second uh, grossest the best thing. Line ever. <laughs> <laughs> and there is the title for the game. The second grossest thing. The second grossest thing. I touched this. Oh. And, and then Gregnack says, You know what? If the king's like that, that's not even in my top ten. <laughs> All right. Now we get a turn order. Everyone well, really put deserve. in your initiative roll into the turn order. Okay. <clears throat> I'm, I'm going to roll percentage so you can tell me if six cents goes off. <laughs> okay. Nope. Okay. Boop, 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 boop. Um. Shit. I don't have any minions in here because you guys weren't supposed to face bad people here. So. Well, I mean, if they see that their bosses are enemies or demons, they'll be like, oh, well, maybe we shouldn't follow them. Um. That's a nice theory. Yeah. And if there <laughs> are dwarves, they're passed out or stinking drunk. Prince, I believe that we have to roll off. I'll just pick it. Uh, just go up to 21, Greg Nick. That's fine with me. I don't care. Mine's right. not natural. Mine's not a natural 20 either. I just... yeah. Really? That's not what I heard last night. <laughs> <laughs> um... The only reason I'm doing this is there's there's one last ditch possibility that I could save my ass. Uh, this may be really quick. In other words, you could run like a bitch. <laughs> Never mind. Never mind. It's quick. You guys dispatch the king rather quickly. Uh, the minions are dispatched as well. Especially uh, considering that the second strike on the king is another blast from the Eye of Osiris. Yeah, no, it, it just, yeah. <laughs> and even if those ahead of it, it, the bottom line is that the, the co, the few people that are not uh, of evil are going to revolt against him as well and join you. You guys rout the king. Yay, I fight with dwarves! Woo! And you fight with dwarves um, that are definitely on your side at, after last night. So dope. Um, and what so, I think is so funny is that the king and queen... Said there was only one chance for me, and that would be getting high in the turn order, high enough in the turn order to turn one of you against the rest of the group, and then there was a chance, but nope. Yeah. Since, like crap. So... I think it's hilarious that the king and queen thought that Grignac was their man. <laughs> <laughs> we 
you're going to do things he's never thought of before. Honestly, he's keeping the funny up. thing What's is that, that drama card ended up being huge. Um, the fact that No Name rolled what he did when he did to reject the queen was perfect timing. I thought I had that in the bag because I had basically the king and queen, Greg Nack, or the king and queen, No Name, and Hebo against the rest of Crisis. So it was basically a four on four battle. And I thought, okay, this is going to be even. And then that turned really bad really quickly. I'm like, oh, done. Okay, cool. <laughs> like it. All right, now you get to solve the puzzles. When all is said and done, Dream will say to Hebo, don't worry about it. I know you weren't yourself. I'll do better next time. <laughs> yeah, good luck with that. <laughs> it should have been you or sis. <laughs> well done. Torin looks up and says, Great Ra and Toth, can we keep him? <laughs> <laughs> There is no answer from the gods. Um, that means yes. <laughs> so you say there's puzzles? Uh, and you need to perceive a way to get past them? Hippo says that he will soul drink the king. Hippo did not soul drink the king because Hippo nope. doesn't have a... Hippo. Hippo. Uh, Twitch chat. Roll, Hippo. He's in the bathroom. Yeah, he's, he's on a bio break. Um, all right. Uh, Yibo, roll for Hippo. Yeah, he's always rolling for you. That's your turn. What does he roll for this? Uh, one roll d20. We'll figure out the bonuses. Yeah, right. figure out the bonuses. It's really high. You're basically, <laughs> it's technically a strike. Actually, that's high enough. Is it? Because the, yep. the, the, the bonus mm -hmm. is 12. All right. So that's high enough. Um, and he was defenseless by the time you got there. Oh, jeez. I gotta add those two to Hebo, uh, to, to No Names. Um, total. I'm so used to No Name playing Hebo, so when Hebo plays No Name, <laughs> yeah, it's a role reversal here. It's hard. Like it. <laughs> now, quick question that you don't have yep. to answer. Um, yes. I know he has a limit on what he can soul drink because of the agreement and everything. Yep. So... I assume that only applies towards things that are allied towards the dark. You you may or may not. I guess we'll correct. find out. That's, that's that's no names problem, not yours. Yeah, pretty but, soon we could see Sky, Cap Sky Captain Willie because it might have <laughs> screwed up. <laughs> All right. So, um, Greg Nack, you have a map. And I direct us to head down to the third floor. Do I, uh, can I activate psionics yet? Do I still feel nope. that resistance? You can feel the resistance. I do. Okay. Yep. So I'm not sure where we're going, but since we have to go to the heart of the castle and looking at this floor, I think we need to head to this room over here. And I show the map to everybody. Um, mm. I, don't I, move, perception. Um, I go I look around at the dwarves and I ask them to remove all the crystal jewelry of the king and queen and bring it over here and then I walk to a um, balcony they, 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 they tell you that they will not go any lower than the floor that they are on for uh, only danger. So they don't they don't go past here? Correct. Mm. Am I muted? No, no I hear you. Um I asked the dwarves to remove the crystal jewelry of the king and queen. Mm -hmm. And then I head to the nearest balcony I can find, um, telling them to leave the jewelry with dream, because if it's uh, like the legends say, then he there would be the no best. Balconies. Well, if I have to go up a floor, I will. There the are no balconies. I, I'll walk out the front fucking door. Uh, uh, okay. I'm going to take an eagle scroll and send it to Lictalon, saying... You find that you cannot 
cast your eagle scroll. Okay, then I use the ring. Because the ring works. We've had this discussion. Okay, so you go out alone to the fir- uh, out the front door. Just now, until I can find Sky. If he's heading in that direction, I head with him. I go with him as well. Okay. Um, we're still going to do all, all this together, but as soon all, as I... All of you give me a perception roll as soon as you exit the door. The three of you. Nice. Dream? Yes, it's coming. There it is. There you go. Oh, that's what she said. Oh. Um, <laughs> you're, it, you know, Greg Knack, I cannot tell you how happy I am that you're in this group now because, I, you know, the, the double entendre is just keeps <laughs> flowing like no tomorrow now. Um, anyway... <laughs> Well, that's what uh, happens when you have a totem walking around in the group. Mm. <laughs> so, uh, Torn and Dream, uh, I will give you uh, the option to dodge and scream attack uh, so that Grignac can dodge as well as uh, a hail of arrows uh, are heading towards you. Um, sure. Yeah, Dream does that. <laughs> and... It- I'll let the arrows hit me if I have to to grab Grignac and simply pull him back in. No, no, no. I'm just saying he he can dodge as, as long as someone, at least one of you says, attack. I do that and I interpose myself between him and the arrows. You're going to stand there and take this? If it means making sure that a fellow member of Crisis survives... I don't think priest, you would need to I, do that. I, in other words, I'm trying he, to tell you... Don't. He won't let him come to harm. And if it means putting myself in the way, no, he was then already, I'll do that. The moment you said something, he was already jumping back inside. Right. I'm trying to say that you don't need to. Um, Greg Mac so dodges like a mother effer. Yeah. <laughs> um, Greg Mac, you didn't dodge like a mother effer. A no, mother-effer. this time, apparently, because they rolled higher than me. And they have the same damn score. Changed my action. <laughs> huh? I have not changed my action. Okay, so, so you're going to take it. Yeah, yes. apparently he's taking it. All right. Does um, my danger sense go off this time? No. Nope. <laughs> but you can roll a dodge. All right. Oh, jeez. Nope. All right. So, Dream and Torin, you're going to take. Let's see, that's. 18. That much. Okay. Not so bad. Well, not so bad for you and Torin. Really bad for Dream. <laughs> he was like, oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! So, at least 36 arrows were shot specifically at us? Yep. Um, and actually, no. More, more more than that. 96. Torn really looks unaffected. I understand. Yeah. What were you doing? You were doing what was what ring? Sorry, repeat. I fire off a message to Lictalon saying the castle is uh, the king and queen are dead. Start heading this way. Okay. All right, guys, let's Wait. shut the door and go figure out this puzzle thing. Can I see <laughs> what threw arrows at us? As I um, went back inside, if, if invading you, army. If you wish to um, hang around to possibly get attacked again, yes. All right, I guess not. <laughs> <laughs> so while those three are upstairs, there's mm-hmm. Ursus, Merkel, and No Name and Hebo down here, right? Yep. And we're looking down this hallway. 
trying to figure out where the kidney might be and trying to perceive where it might be, correct? All right, so moving, moving maps now. You are there. I see two crystals in the upper right hand side, and then the rest of us down in the bottom left hand corner. Uh, yeah, so uh, you know, you guys are always in the bottom left hand corner. I try and do that every time. Yeah, um, so you are now this. in this corridor. Um, the lights. There is no light. Merkel will pull out his crystal light gem to light the way. Excuse me? Uh, this is something that I wasn't looking for. Um, there's a what? <laughs> crystal of light. It's right there in his inventory. Before he pops it on. Time. Oh, shit. Um, hold on. I actually need to look this up. <laughs> if, my if, if it's what I remember you're screwed if it's not what I remember this may be a really good thing I remember it as a crystal that glows yep actually this is not what I remember only one or two candles perfect um, Merkel pulls out this crystal and suddenly, it is if a floodlight has gone off. It isn't blinding, but it is rather bright. And you see... Well, it's never done that before. Down <laughs> the corridor. Um, no name. Um, the you cannot do an eagle scroll. I'm sorry, but I got the joke, and it's funny as hell. Well, so if he sends it to one of the gods, may it work? Because then it's kind of like on a wing and a prayer. Yeah. <laughs> I'll, I'll, I'll let no name repeat it publicly. Wait, you got it? <laughs> yeah, I got it. I just repeat. I, I just answered. <laughs> Let me see what he said. <laughs> it took no, you. No, I said it verbally. Is oh. What I said. Oh. Well, I guess. Um, I, I said no. You cannot send an eagle, but I got it. It's really funny. Yeah. Is what I literally just said. Oh, okay. Well, I said. Uh, so. I send an eagle to send it, summon Janet Reno's dance army. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, it, no name has been uh, running a, a game that he has titled Janet Reno Dance Party, uh, doing a game that he actually created a character that looked like Janet Reno. It was hilarious. <laughs> the army's just her running around with no clothes and a bow. The army, and yeah. no one with yeah. her. Uh, uh, the the army was an army of zero, but <laughs> it was hilarious. Yeah. So are we? Is the crystal a hall or is the blank space? It's a hallway. Hall? It's a hallway. So the you crystals are the hallway. hallway. Yes, the crystals are the hallway. The crystals are on the floor, the walls, the ceiling. So the white squares are solid. non-existent. Yeah, got it. And don't 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 actually exist. All right, so Merkel, I take it, was now leading. Merkel's leading? Oh, God help you. Or he asked, actually, Ursus asked Merkel for the crystal 
so that he can leave. But Earth is going to use what little is well. That's up to Merkel. Earth yeah, is ask Merkel. Yeah, Merkel's happy to let Ursus take the lead. You want to okay. hold the light? Go ahead. Yeah, so Ursus holds the light out in front of him, and probably a little blinding to him, but um, the the light goes out as soon as you hand it to Mer uh, hand it to Ursus. <sighs> I guess I'll have to be taking that back then. <laughs> so <laughs> stand next to me. And so we'll the two of you go side. forward. Got it. <laughs> All right. So, you guys so we wait for the others. I don't even know where I'm at right now. <laughs> <laughs> See the torch on the screen? That's where we are. Okay. As long as I keep my uh, belt for the title. You got it. Um, you kept you your belt the for the title. Um, and uh, Hero, did you t uh, share with No Name what happened? I was watching. Oh, you were watching. Oh, yeah. You know, I was talking to him in Twitch chat. Yeah. Okay. Good. When I when I have to go. Um, I, I understand. I just I don't need any more information. You were watching. That's fine. Got it. I was watching. Um. You. So the the question is: Are you going down at the intersection? Or are you going to the end, folks? Well, the question is: When does the rest of us catch up? Um. No, the question is, are they going down, are they going to the end, or are they waiting for you? Merkel suggested that we wait. Then we will stand right here and we will wait. All right, so everyone's together now. Down or to the end? Well, the question is, like down, down, down like is the way up. Out. Down is wait. the way up. It looks exactly like your map. It is. All right, then I say we go straight to the end. Dreams hurt pretty bad. He's gonna try and use his healing psionic power on himself. No name says down is the way up. That's what Lichtalon said. Nope. No. Yes. The map guy. Craig has the map. I have the map. <laughs> uh, the map. No name. I've given you some XP. Thank you. Um. So. Uh, Grignac, um, you're, you're, you you suggest going straight. Is everyone agreeing with Grignac? Wait, when we went by that intersection, because we're just like running now, I guess, we couldn't even look down it? That's what I was trying to suggest. But... Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah, that would be true. Because you aimed the light, I presume, bounces down that That's true. Pathway. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I, I said I'm sorry. Oh, shit. Come can you on. give one person control of the flame so that we can move ourselves where we want to go? No. Okay. <laughs> just trying to make a suggestion. No, it's not a bad suggestion. It's just... Um, We've done that in the past, by the way. I, I understand. In, in this case, there, there's a very specific reason I can't. Okay. Sorry. Um. All right. So, does that change your minds? Nope. I don't want to go to the small room. Okay. Is everyone trusting the guy with the map? Rignac has the map. I'm gonna follow his lead. Yeah. Merkel and Ursus are leading. Isn't this interesting? Grignac, you're actually being trusted. I say Grignac. The majority of people would choose the the large room, but um, Lichtalon says that you should take the path that's your own path. So, I trust you. You already saved my life once. Ooh. As we Great walk endorsement dream. by Yibo. Ooh. <laughs> Nice. He's like the dreams. Also, <laughs> dreams. Also, go ahead. Um, looking around, not just looking forward, but like looking up, looking at the sides. They're like, gave us a warning of looking 
you know, in other places as well, not just what was in front of you. Agreed. So Dream is doing that as we go. Well done, Dream. Okay. So. What's your next, map holder? Uh, so what is the lighter crystal in front of us? All right. So um, who has gemology? Yeah. I, don't know um, I felt like someone in our group has it. At least has had it in the past. I know Craig had it in the past. <laughs> How much I of the moon I, can we see with the light? I think I at this point, uh, through all the different characters I've had, I've had every skill in the book. <laughs> mm, in the main book, maybe. <laughs> but did you have Surgeon? Is this a map? Is this a map or is this a screenshot of someone's gem game? <laughs> <laughs> um... This, this is uh, due to the wonderful um, AZ Rune who uh, sent me, hey, you want to do crystals? Here's a bunch of gems. And I'm like, oh, God, dang it. You just created a whole new puzzle for me. Thanks so much. <laughs> um, and this is awesome. I love this. This is fun for me. Is this all we're going to be exposed, or are you taking? Are you? Is it taking a while to expose it all? No, I do not have gemology. I have it. Hebo has it. Hebo has it. I do. Hebo's. The... Is, is Hebo the only one that has it? Really, a dwarf doesn't have gemology. I didn't expect to. <laughs> I don't know, Master Dream Dwarf. Was... Dream was turned into a dwarf. Does that give him gemology? No. <laughs> <laughs> it Torin. <sighs> oh, there's a big sigh. Um, hold on. I'm waiting for my screen to update. Oh God, I'm sorry. No, it's okay. It's Wi-Fi not. issues are bound to happen at some point. Okay, I'm I'm now on the screen with all the colored. Um, okay, the question is Do you have gemology? I assume you do all I do all oh. okay. I will search Oh shit, you don't Yes, I do Ursus asked Merkel to step up to the edge Just I don't before those it. Aqua <laughs> crystals Recognize precious metals and stones And oh, there it reads is. the book oh, And treats yeah, it as gemology yeah, oh, okay. good, good job. No, I was searching for gemology specifically. Yeah, so was I. <laughs> All right, so Hebo and Torin, please give me a percentage. All right, coming up. Oh. Uh, what is, is that just like a D100? Yeah, yeah it's 1D100. So you uh, slash R1D100. How does a nine work? A uh, zero nine is really good. Let's wait for Hebo and see if he also... 89. What's your percentage skill roll, Hebo? Um, What's your skill percentage? Oh. Is it 98? Where did it go? Should be at the very end it. of it. I uh, know, I, I had it up friend. and I just lost it. I don't even know where it is now. Control F is your friend. Set. Yeah. Uh, 60. 60. Oof, you failed. Yeah. Um. I imagine that you guys would trust the dwarf more than the human anyway, so I'm just oh, going to yeah, go with I trust you, you both equally, but Hebo and I have been through things. <laughs> and then some. Been there and back. <laughs> there was a high five moment. It was very special. It was really kind of freaky. Um, <laughs> Prunes. Yeah. Was there any spit roasting going on? Prunes, apparently. Um... So, uh... Hey, Victor. Yes? Dream actually asked me to heal his wounds. So I'm going to, uh... Give me a percentage first. For priest abilities? Give me a percentage first. All right. 
Holy crap. Yes. <laughs> that was my dice saying F you. No, I do not do blood loss. <laughs> I do not do blood loss rules. I, this is a, this is movie type of gaming. Not. I mean, I realistic. know normally, normally no one, you know, no one, no one survives or gets hurt long enough to have it matter. But I started thinking about it. And I'm like, yeah, no, was, I've never done blood loss. I, I, 30, I, 30 something arrows, one HP a minute. That's going to be a big problem. Uh, I, I know, I know, I know. And, and this is, this is where I say, no, we're more cinematic. We, we are definitely cinematic here. Um, so am I basically picking the right crystal to step on or something or, uh, so I'm going to remember, remind you all that this is the point that all of the hints that you've been given probably matter. And Ursus stands there at the edge with Merkel holding his lighted crystal so he can see as much of the field as possible. Studies the field. Okay. And then I play my drama card. Which is? Vision. Ah, oh, you son of a bitch. Oh, really? I get card. to give this all to you? You're <laughs> <laughs> oh, making a perception-based skill. I've been trying to play this card all night, too. I've been trying to play it. I've been trying to play it. When you're making a perception-based skill, you gain a critical success. So I will stare at this, make my perception on how to bypass the puzzle, and I will have a critical role and be able to do it. I've been right. trying to play this all night, and you stopped me earlier. And I, I did. said, okay. I did stop you earlier, and it's I on me. Basically, okay. give him all the information he needs to make that decision. All right. So, um, and I got a nine. So, the. Hold on. I need to get, get rid of the. I'll be. I'll have a nice dramatic description. Okay. All right. So, um, the it's Minecraft. Blue, so the blue crystals that you are standing on are sapphires. Um, the greenish crystals are diamonds. The red rocks. I'm sorry? You said the greenish-blue. Let's call it aqua. Yeah, the aqua. The aqua crystals are diamonds. The reddish stones... Like, oh, jeez. On move. Alright, so like this one are rubies. Uh, the group of bluish crystals are quartz. And the purple ones represent brass. B R A S S? Yeah. B R A S S. That was like a purple shroom there. Brass, so they're not crystals? So so the brass, they're, they're brass colored crystals. Which ones are the brass? These ones. The purple. Oh, wait, sorry, purple? I'm, I'm in one note, sorry. The ones with the odd uh, chunky state. Yeah. Looks like a purple mushroom. Okay, so uh, from what they said, the one that we need to take is the purple one because it's the one of least value and the least path travel. Correct. No name finally paid attention to his own log. <laughs> I always paid attention to it. <laughs> so, you realize that you have to walk only on the brass crystals. Which so you have to brass door on the other side. Jump to Seven. here. So you do all this. You do this. E D D D. And we make it. Well, the question is, as you're going along. Mm -hmm. What are um, you doing? Quartz is the least valuable. 
Oh, yeah. uh, in this case, brass is the least value. Or at least value. Value. brass is. Uh, we're just making sure we're good. Life is good. Uh, anyone else have any other statement? I'll proceed. No, I'm just trying to help move this along so that we're not out of time. Oh, don't worry about time. I need to know. I make my own path on the br <laughs> on the brass. <laughs> I'll perceive. Alright, give me a perception. Ursus looks up at the ceiling to see what's on there. Um, the ceiling is completely quartz. This is the first time that brass eats brass. That brass does what? That brass meets brass. Brass floor meets brass wall. Oh, that's a brass wall. Maybe yes. it's the door. So, uh, no name. Uh, uh, that's good enough. You exactly got the number minimum. Um, you see a keyhole on this brass wall where the brass floor meets the brass wall. I look at Merkel and I say, you're the shadiest one of all of us. <laughs> Well, while he's discussing this with Miracle, trying to get him to pick the lock, I'm going to, uh, oh no, it's just passageways, never mind. I assure you, if I had seen a key somewhere, I probably would have it on me. <laughs> but I haven't seen anything like that. You are correct, Miracle. Does he have pick locks or anything? Oh god. <laughs> Really? <laughs> <laughs> Why not? It's finally a skill he'll get to use. I have Streetwise at the very least. Merkel does have the pick locks skill. Uh huh. Let him do his shitty shit. So. Hey, Merkel. I called it. Told you. You look at that keyhole and you're like. <sighs> immediately recognize. That this is a specific key, and if you screw with this in any way, shape, or form, it ain't going to happen. And in this type of magic place, you probably feel that that would be a bad thing. You need You're to find the dead. actual key. Well, Merkel but will thank say, you uh, very much. "Let's let's call let's call me doing this Plan B." Um, <laughs> this is definitely a little out of my comfort zone. <laughs> um, not not quite what I was taught back in to the circus, wherever he's from. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. No, circus crystal, is correct. Crystal oh. doors were in short supply there. Well, let's head to the other wall then. Keep going. Into the path. No, the path. Ah, keeps the path. Going. <sighs> Sometimes not having huge monitors is a bad thing. Um, you reach that point. I um, want everyone oh. give me an initiative roll as soon as I add turns to all of you. So yeah, I, I I'll I'll do this. Go ahead and roll if you choose, um, if, because that's the best way to do this. Is uh, my initiative. Fuck. It's not that big a deal. It's they're 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 you're not facing any enemies. This is just for me to make this organized and not have seven people talking over each other. All right, good to know. I can't just hit enter on an initiative roll. Or it screws up. Oh, shit. I put Ursus twice. <laughs> I'm Ursus. No. All right. Everyone should see themselves in there. Please put you in your... Initiatives. 
Did you roll a natural one, Greg Jack? I rolled a natural one, GM. Really sorry. That's Although, why I honestly, said, oh, honestly, shit. At this time, honestly, at this time, that's not that big a deal. Merkel, Dream, Torin, need you in the turn order, please. My bad, I was Dream from the bathroom break. Right? Sorry, I just got back. Is this uh, initiative? Yep. Yes. But there's initiative nothing you, finding us. Oh, so no, no chance of six cents? All right. No. It just... I don't want to even bother with it. It's not that important. <laughs> to add a second different goal. Um, last break will be soon. Uh, honestly, after we solve this here. So just Merkel there, Dave. Yeah, I know. I'm... All right. Looks like Torn is first. Go. Okay. So we did he make it through the other door? Uh n no, you you're you're at the end of the wall. Um stirring at the wall. Um there doesn't seem to be anything going on here. Um so you've reached a dead end. I and you're the first one. Is the ring compelling me to talk to it because of that thing you mentioned to me? No. I, we're rolling initiative just so for organization purposes, so I could just go one by one. You don't see anything, you don't sense anything, but you're at it. Sense magic from the ring. Oh. Uh, The ring senses magic all around you, um, literally. Um, everything that you touch, except touch if I move to the front of the party but don't touch the wall, then the door would be the only thing in front of me. And if it sensed it in a direction and simply said near, middle, or far, no, you you are you are a misconstrued sense magic. The sense magic is a general sense magic of is there magic around you? Yes. It is not a... This pinpoints... I didn't say anything about pinpointing. Okay. But if I simply put a plane of existence on my shoulder line, magic that I sense would be either be behind me or in front of me. All around you. Floor, ceiling, wall. The entire room is magic. Well, that was my action, so... Merkel. Merkel is uh, going to look, I guess, up above and down below. Um, is there anything about the ceiling or the uh, floor in this area? It, are you using a specific skill, or are you just looking for variations in life? I don't have any. I don't have any gem skills, so I'm not sure what. Uh, yeah, it may not necessarily be a gem skill. Um, oh. Consider this a dungeon, folks. Yes, yes, yes. There's my what? ridiculously obviously hint. Yeah, well, I've been trying to do it, but I rolled a one. I understand. Uh, Merkel doesn't have any skills for that. All right, dream. Dream will take out the uh, finger of Osiris and uh -huh. his ability to detect secret doors. Give me a percentage. Here it is. Break index finger. Percentages. Oh, in this case, adding a plus 10. Or a minus 10. Yeah, you got it. Okay. Um... You realize that all you have to do is put your hand on this wall in a certain spot upon the brass. There's a secret door. Okay. Um, if you guys are alright, I say that. 
and I'll do that, or someone else can do it. If you can see it, you should do it. I grabbed your hand and I guide it. <laughs> <laughs> and I say we must do this as a team, and I encourage everyone to grab Jamesy arm. So bottom right side. Ship. <laughs> um, Merkel. You still have that crystal activated? Yes. All right. All right, guys. Looks like this entire room's made out of rubies. That's what your mom said. <laughs> well, if she did, I'd be why like, "Why is that funny?" I don't, I don't know. know why that's funny, but it was funny. <laughs> I'd be I rich. It. It's because you're drunk and tired, GM. Oh no, not either, actually. Um, what the heck? There's no one in this room. Except for did us. we just come Has down or did we go up? You went up. You went up a staircase. You're yeah. seemingly going up. But we want to go so, down. You gotta go down to, you have go to go up. up to go down and you down went to go down. Up. You went down to go up. So Recall now we're going that up. you went down to three, and now you're back up. Okay. All right. Ursus is Ursus is out of tricks. So who's next, Victor? Yes. I put the Eye of Osiris to my eye, and I look through it, and I try to uh, see if I can find any traces of humanoids in this room. There are none, but you do definitely see a stairway up, and with that, I'm going to call our last break. <laughs> All right. Hema, er, so, sorry. 26 after... Hebo, did you know our characters are not Eskimo brothers? <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> I think you're... Oh, I thought that you two were married. Brothers. I mean, I thought that's how that worked. No, yeah. we're, we're Eskimo brothers. <laughs> we'll hit up right. EVD and me. EVD and me? We'll see you all in ten minutes. Okay. All right, ten minutes.
Oh yeah. Alright everyone, we are back. Let's finish this out and have a great rest of the game. All of us. Hello. Hi, we're back. Hello, yeah we are. Sorry we're about back. that. No worries. You're uh, sorry we're back? No, I'm sorry that I took forever. Yeah, it's okay. Um, Brian, are you back? Okay, we're missing Brian at the moment. It's okay. I understand. I'm just going to... <laughs> Brian? Or are you thinking? <clears throat> Brignag? Yeah, sorry. I'm not... I'm Apparently I'm not quite awake. Oh god. No, this is not a good time for you to go. I feel oh, like... Oh no, I'm not saying I'm leaving. I'm just saying... I'm not 100% with us right now. I'll try right, to be I'll there. Try, try, and, try and refocus. I feel like we um, should just Leroy it. <laughs> so, anyone have any objections to Leroying it and heading to the next stair? Yeah. Well, I wanted to check for any uh, traces of animals first, but yeah. Well, it, it, one, one does not say the other. What do you mean? As long now, are as you are you stopping to do a check or are you just going? I'm using the Eye of Osiris to look for traces. And I already animals. told you before the break that there was nothing. Sorry. No humanoids is what you said, unless you're saying there's nothing, nothing. There's nothing, nothing. As long as All there's right. no dragon whelplings and I have chicken, we're good. Let's go. Alright. Up you go. Dude, I There's said no up. Way. I said down. Where's up? Easy. Down to go up. All right, we did it, guys. There's see no way. Leroying, making your own path. Right, right, GM. Uh, no comment. <laughs> He's like, I hate you so much. <laughs> um, how long does your crystal last, there, Merkel? Um, twenty years. Serious? You you look it up in the book. It doesn't say on the on here. It just says uh, he has it. <sighs> I'll look if you give me a minute. I don't have this up, but I thought I did. What was it called? It's the Crystal of Light on from page 256. This is main book. Okay. I, I looked it up. Uh, shit out. It is 20 years. <laughs> <laughs> I remembered that right. <laughs> Holy crap. <laughs> All right. <laughs> I mean, you're um, welcome to the side that, you know, it's it's 19 years and 364 days old. I don't know what to say. Uh, yeah, yeah, I get it. Jerk. Um, You're the one who gave it this ability to light everything. I, I did. I just didn't think that he would actually use it. But he is not he today, so yeah. Um, all right. Um, interesting enough, you again, the no one, nothing. All right, let's go. Anyone have any objections? Now we're standing on the same sort of crystal, right? Um. Uh, well, uh, obviously the it rubies was, have rubies changed before. Right. But I mean, sapphires. No. Right. Yeah. And so everything nothing. is. Glowing in a sapphire glow. And there's nothing like up above on the ceiling or anything to notice? It blew. The ceiling, the ceiling and the walls are all sapphire. I guess we're going to Leroy. I mean, can I, as we Leroy across, can I use the finger for detecting uh, secret doors? Um. You'll you'll have to slow everyone down to. You know, there's something else that finger's good for. 
<laughs> very to a very slow rate to do doors. Okay. If, you, if, if there's something else that the finger is good for, not anymore. Yeah, it won't. Yeah, we were told a long time ago it won't point to the pieces of Osiris uh, anymore. Okay. We found enough of them that I guess it doesn't miss the others. I I don't know the reasoning, but that's it. Just won't. The powers that hold the pieces are hiding are strong them. enough to hide them from the finger. Is the reason and that you were told? So, am I correct that we're bypassing the drawers thing? We're moving on. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Just like I uh, hate you guys so much. No, actually, I'm really happy with you guys. <laughs> um. I still don't believe you. <laughs> Kibo, are you sure you have not been a player for like years here? Catch it on quick. I think, I think he's been uh been he's been watching long, long enough. enough to understand. Yeah. Um, okay, this is the floor we need to pay attention to. Welcome to the room of brass. <sighs> Again, interestingly enough, you find no one here. Okay, I'm going to look for secret passageways through the eye. Okay. I will as well. Uh, all right. With the finger. Well, so we have yeah, finger, finger and eye. Who's Cam? Never, never mind. That's roll 20 only. Uh, Cameron um, used to play in our Friday game. Supposed to be for roll 20 only. I understand. But if Cameron's here... Hi, Cameron. How the hell are you, man? Long time no here. Loud keyboard. Oh, I so, was going to say something, but I forgot. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, sorry. Uh, moving on. Um, so, percentage from both of you, I got an 82. Is that a success or fail for the finger there? Well, it's a success for its skill, unless you have some penalties or something to add to it. The skill no is 89%. Here. Okay. Okay. And also, Greg Neck. Success by 50. Um, there seems to be a secret compartment here after many hours of searching. Nice. Um, Patriots 18, thank you for that follow. Much hippo love. Welcome to the hippo love. Hippo love. Yeah, guys, drop that hippo love in chat. Spam it. That is the path less traveled. Um, you find a key hidden in a secret compartment. Who wants to carry the key? Sorry, I'm the gatekeeper, not the key master. <laughs> Grignac is both. <laughs> Well done, Dream. <laughs> Fine, I'll take the key then. Now, Ursus was going to... I was muted. I did say taking the key first. Sorry. All right, All right Ursus. Hi, Coupon. 
Um, Lurch, it's uh, smaller, it's lowercase h, uppercase l. Just so you know. Ursus does his own thing. I understand. <laughs> All right. So um, That only works in I this dungeon. <laughs> correct in assuming that you're going back down? Yes, sir. Yes. All right. Yeah. Now we're going to run into the demons. Yeah. No, now you got to go down to go into the door to unlock it to go up. Um, so, I'm going to follow the path to here. Yep. So you're there. You place the key into the keyhole versus and suddenly all of you that have magic or psionic abilities or carrying rune weapons are reconnected with all of those things. You feel full again. Oh, man. No what? <laughs> you really feel full again. What did I do last night? <laughs> and are wondering what you did last night. Um, <laughs> and, and actually, you feel like you sense that it wasn't last night. It was the night before last. So we've been down here two days. And you... Yeah, we spent many hours in that top uh, yes. room. And you go back to the upper floor. God darn it, why is it not picking it? I see it. All right. Does that feel full? Does that mean we're refreshed to PPE and ISP? No. That just means that you you feel that your connection has been refulfilled. I understand because it decided that I was trying to change its name. Oh, but we've um, been in here for hours. How many hours? At least twenty four. Oh, okay. At least. Um, the center of the room suddenly rises and holds. Come out of the sides of the crystal tower, creating balconies on each of the north, south, and west and east points. The four cardinals. The four cardinals. And in the center rises the kidney on a pedestal in the middle. Of the room. Now the question is, which member of Crisis that is not currently holding a piece wishes well, to grab the kidney? Grignac actually has something to say. Mm. Since I have fully understood the workings of the eye, I would be willing to pass it on so that I may be, be begin to uh, work upon the workings of the kidney for crisis since as soon as we understand the pieces better can we use the pieces and i can explain the workings of the eye to anyone who would wish it ursus will volunteer to carry the eye so that grignac may take the kidney and learn of its secrets um, real quick, uh, out of character, um, who was going to play Torin and when he was late? Was that you? That was no me. Name? Yep. Um, you've got him now. Wait, what? He, he's not back. I don't know what's going on, but he's not back. You tried texting? I did. Okay. Okay. He is off on a family thing. Something may have come up. So... Unfortunately, I don't think that the kidney will fit in the same place that I put the eye. Um, absolutely not. <laughs> <laughs> uh, the kidney is much larger than the eye. Um, so, so I want to know where you've been keeping the eye? <laughs> <laughs> it's been on a sheet. 
I'll, I'll let you do your own research. Um, however, uh, so who's taking the eye? Ursus. Is that Ursus? Ursus, yeah. Oh, Jesus. Okay. <laughs> yeah, I don't want it. <laughs> okay. So, uh, the kidney is yours, Master Grignac. I'll figure out a place to put it on my sheet. So, uh, when when we take this, mm-hmm. and I think, uh, I think it's actually more appropriate for Merkel to say this, um, this will make the castle start flying? Well, I'm about to tell you what happens, but I wanted to first decide who had it. Um, Ursus, so if, uh, Greg Neck, if you could just throw, throw the link, um, into, uh, no name. Did you share it with the group? Share what? (laughs) What I said offline, I came late. Did you share with the group what the boot was now? Oh, I mean, they already... I already said on Twitch, but basically, we have to move to shots. Because I'm out of beer. So, so a boot means three shots, correct? (laughs) No. (laughs) Uh, 1.5 per beer. Okay. 1.5 per beer? So there's three beers in a boot? There's five. Five beers in a boot? Jesus. So that's... Seven and a half shot. Mm-hmm. All right. So if anyone wants to give No Name a uh, AK the Hippo a boot, that's eight shots. Um, there's a whole lot of you, or seven and a half shots, which will probably be eight, knowing No Name. So um, if uh, any of you wish to uh, share that with him or do that. Feel free if you want to. What's the command again? Give space the half a bot space. Yeah. And then and the them out. Of um, and it's 10,000. Total. Yep. And and if you're thinking of doing it, you may want to ask others if they wish to join you so you don't just, uh, forgive me, blow your wad. Oh, come on. They just sit there doing nothing. I figure I might as well donate 9,000. <laughs> <laughs> oh man! All right, there you All go, right. and there it goes. <laughs> oh God, this not is three. The same way it did I last said time. no more three. I said that not during rebuild. No three boot. This is number two. <laughs> okay. Yeah. All right, uh, there we go. All right, and then um, what was I gonna say um? I don't know. You haven't had your second boot yet, so you better be sober. No, I was going to say um, I'm removing the note from Active Hippo. My knee can hold out, so um, Active Hippo is still live. All right. Hebo, please don't activate it before you talk to me because I want to make sure it's a time that you and I to. can both be there. It was amazing last time. Uh, yeah, and I missed it last time, and I'm still pissed about that. So you can watch I, I the really VOD. Want, I, I, it's never as good as live, dude. I want to be there live for the next Active Hippo. I'm just 100% stating, please don't do an Active Hippo without making sure I can be there. Cause well, I'm working on something else for it, too. I, I got to see if he'll do it. Okay, so we, we need to talk <laughs> offline. Yeah, he wants to you do. Have my email, he wants to do a Batman Superman act of hippo. Oh, with, I'm the coupon as what? Superman, and then I'm Batman. Oh, oh my God, that would be so. <laughs> what is that? Um, uh, so his best man at his wedding, um, and and he would do Batman Superman act of hippo. Basically, um, what is it? Um, Just Dance with uh, yeah. dressed as Batman, Dress and okay. then Dress Superman <laughs> onesie. Yeah, it would be awesome. All right, 
So, um, did anyone else? Not. Did they, did anyone else lose the stream on Twitch? No. Okay, maybe it's just me then. No, I still see it. I'm still there too. All right, never mind. It's just me. It just come back. <laughs> so, um. Anyways, I had to participate <laughs> briefly. Sorry. Um, so, uh, Ursus, you're going to get the eye. Working on uh, right now. Grignac, you get the kidney. I'll change the items uh, between games. Um, yeah, I'm doing it right now. I've got the kidney on my uh, page, I, but uh, I understand. I'm just saying I'll change yeah. the item page and the Osiris parts page between games. I'm not going to do it right now. Um, so, uh, so y you actually, Grignac, actually know everything about the kidney. Um, except for the last sentence that still is unclear as you wrap it. Yeah, and that's the sentence that I want to clarify by... Uh... Much prayer and uh, supplication to the gods. We will we'll, we'll talk in between games because <laughs> I will need some percentage rolls and we'll we'll talk in between games. We'll do a we side even, session. About it. No, we won't need a side session. We can just do it by <laughs> game, honestly. It'll All be right. a, it'll be a quick one. Um, so uh, suddenly. As you are standing there, Grignac, you grab the kidney. Uh -huh. And you feel as if something is changing. In the kidney or around us? Uh, around you. Okay. Um, my first question is, who felt that? That poor Gollum was a good guy or a bad guy, because he kind of was presented as both. I thought he was insane, which doesn't necessarily make him good or evil. Right, agreed. I feel like uh, he was a good guy because the pen demons or whatever are bad. All right, so no name wants to save him. Anyone else choosing to follow? He needs to be saved. I thought he was a decent person put into a bad position. Misunderstood. That was the impression I got. Evo says misunderstood, so he's there. I hear he went, he went down on the coin wrong, and that's what happened. <laughs> what, you mean kind of like No Name, huh? I don't no, know. I'm no, the champion. No I name, lasted. No Name did very well. I hate to I, I, I hate to burst your bubble, Greg Dak. You're not the only one that has skills. <laughs> well, no names had plenty of practice. He was all night to up all night to get lucky. He was a chair for a while. He did he did learn something. <laughs> so you see people take for granted there's just a chair in the room? You don't think about it. Yeah. Do yeah. whatever you want around there. Just watch Two Girls, One Cup. That's pretty much what I <laughs> <laughs> See, Nat, don't really need that image again. <laughs> My God. I love the again part. <laughs> hey, Victor. Oh, he both's God. like squirming. He's like, no. What was the cup? <laughs> <laughs> Dude, what? You were snoring, what? so. <laughs> I thought he said, what's the cup? Who yeah. was the cup? <laughs> yeah, it was. Uh, he was snoring, Move so we up. wanted to stop the snoring. <laughs> well, there was one girl who was the. Hey, hey, girl. hey! Let's hey. move on. Hey. Okay. <laughs> <Jeez>. Okay. <laughs> Victor, oh wait, uh, Osiris SDC that has no AR. <clears throat> um, eighteen. AR of eighteen. Okay. Uh, as they are. I, it, I have never had to use it, so now that we're back to using an AR, we're, it's an AR of 18. 
Um, so, uh, suddenly as you're grasping the kidney, you feel that you're going to leave everyone behind that you've met in this valley. Some of them have been kind of decent, some of them not so much. But the question is... Yeah, I'm not especially enamored of the ones that shot arrows at us. But, but the question is, Greg Knack, do you feel that you should stay and put the kidney back for a moment to try and talk to the people that are still here, or do you feel that you should leave? And this Correct. is simply your decision, unless you open it to the group. Grignac, for a very, very long time, has felt that we've been behind and that we need to make up time. He doesn't put the kidney back. All right. Cool. Put the book back. <laughs> <laughs> so, you, you continue to hold the kidney and you feel a great rumbling and a shaking of the palace. <laughs> Hebo remembered last night. <laughs> <laughs> and, and for Hebo and No Name, they think of last night. Um, for the rest of you, uh, what do you do? You said, well, the, you said there are balconies. Are they basically to look inside this room or are they looking outside? No, it, it, they, it, it, they, they seem to have sprouted out. Well, I guess we'll not, that. none of you have ever gone towards them, so that's all that I can tell tell you. Good night. Love I'll you. Take a peek out the window. Yeah, I guess I'll go to a balcony and see if I can see out of it. <laughs> all right. So, uh, Earth is a dream. Head towards balcony. Sorry, I have to. Uh. <laughs> was just right there. Um, <laughs> uh, and you see the pallets lifting off the ground. Uh, walls <laughs> included the whole nine yards. Oh god, where, where are you posting crap? I think it's on real funny. Okay. <laughs> Oh God, no! <laughs> no! 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 Um. So when so when Ursus and I go to the balcony, we can see the castle lifting off the ground, and, and not just the castle, but all the way to the outer borders of the walls that you passed through and went for a while before you got to the castle. Okay, while, while we're looking, can we see what it was that was outside shooting at us? Um, yes, uh, you see people falling off of the walls to their death. Do they hit the propellers? Um, you do not see any propellers from where they are standing. Can I use my psionics or a wall? I'll use, actually, I'll cast a spell if I can. Okay, try. I would like to cast Bone Wall to meet them so that they don't fall very far. Um, no, because you weren't on the balcony. You were reliving Yeah, I am. No. no, you were. The hang on to me, night. Jack, refers you to. You said <laughs> that you were reliving last night. Yeah, on the balcony because the hang on to oh, me, Jack. He's hanging off. I'm I'm out like this, and you can't see it, but my arms are spread out, and he was no, holding can't, on to can't. me. <laughs> he, uh. <laughs> and do you not watch Titanic? <laughs> give me a percentage. If you roll over sixty, I'll give it to you. I'm surprised. Over 60. If you make me fail, you hate uh, Celine Dion. I I I. I <laughs> Yes, I do too. So I roll on. 
Yeah. <laughs> I, I hate Celine. You're right. You are a hater of Canadians. I I am definitely a hater of Celine Dion. I'm not a hater of Canadian. Yep, you hate Tag now. No, I don't. Yeah. Because, God, <laughs> if you think I hate Celine, you've never heard him go off on one of his Celine rants. So, yeah. No. Hebo has a flex point. He could use it for a Celine Dion moment. I don't think he should. So I want to get back to Ursus and I on the balcony. I'm sorry? Ursus and I on the balcony. As the castle's lifting off and shaking out of the ground, we can watch people falling to their death. Those are the people who shot at us? Yes. Are they trying to jump off or are they being propelled off? They they seem to be falling off. All right, I'm going to act by an unseen force. I sing my heart will go on. <laughs> go on. How far away are are we? Um, about 4,000 feet from them. Okay. So that's... Damn, I only got a 3,000 foot range. Sorry. You watch them fall to their deaths. And Lick Delon. I turn away. I can't watch. Uh, as you reach okay. about 100 feet off the ground, Lick Delon appears and says, Thank you, Crisis. You have retrieved the Crystal Kingdom for me. Can I toss him the Queen's head? You can. As a token? I you say, choose. I say, here, Lick Delon, a trophy for you. I've heard you like head. I, I have to do this in roll 20. Uh, it, as long as I don't roll under a 5. I know you like trophies. He catches it. And says, ah, yes. The head of a pandemonium. It is obvious my daughter has been here. We shall purge her from every nook and cranny. Every orifice. What is your daughter's name? Tolmet. Is she inspiring Lady Shara? He looks at you and as if you've brought up something he's never ever considered and he's like I wonder that is something I have not considered yes Grignac you wish to say something I was responding to Silent Dreams' request on who has Demon and Monster oh, Lord. Oh, sorry. Um, I know dream, that. Dream, you are you you are uh, reading into things that may or may not have been hinted upon out of character versus your knowledge of hell. Um, uh, when well this was why I was trying to prompt and I guess I should have been doing it in private messages but I was trying to prompt those with the skill to possibly okay. so, consider it so more here's, here's the deal um, in my world in the rebuilt world um, Tolmet rejected her father and aligned herself with hell rather than Hades when he went to Hades. When he ruled Hades, Tolmet rejected Hades and aligned herself with hell. So she literally did the fuck you, dad. I'm going on the other side. You're not the boss of me. I wonder exactly. if Lady Dara, and I say this to him, I wonder if Lady Dara has chosen Tolmet as his new de- her new deity. Well, my confusion now, Victor, though, is you, you did, Lichtelin told us that she was Modius's right-hand man. 
right. the right hand, whatever you call it. Yes, and um, that's the out of character versus in character situation. Well, in character, we know that. In character, you think that she's aligned with 80s, yes. Well, uh, you're right. I guess I think that because Lichtelin said that to us, point blank. Correct. Okay. Correct, and you have not been given any reason to disbelieve Lichtelin other than the fact that a couple of people have already indicated that he tends to lie about her regularly. Well, a successful demon and monster lore would indicate something's weird about that story. That's where I, I was getting with all 100% that. 100% agree. I've seen zero rolls on demon <laughs> monster lore. No, because I was in the middle of working it out with everyone when you brought all this up. I get it. So, if anyone wants to question Lictalon, roll... Demon of Monster Lore at minus 30%. Did he not respond? He grabbed the head. And no, said, I'm sa I said, uh, I wonder if Lady Dara has uh, chosen to hold that as he knew he, he, he uh, momentarily is <clears throat> ignoring you. Okay. Um, mostly because of the fact that I'm waiting for everyone else to... Uh, and wait, waiting for anyone to like bring up the other part. Unfortunately, Grignac has no reason to question Lictalon, so... Are we rolling low or high? I, I'm going to give you a good amount of experience for playing that in character, because I think that's actually true. <laughs> so, thank you. Even if that's not the best thing, I think that's absolutely true in character. Um, is that... I rolled way under. I understand. Why are you questioning him? I mean, oh. seriously, you. Oh, I'm not questioning. Why would you even question him? Oh, I thought you said just roll it if you had the skill. No, no. I'm saying if you would question him. No. And I, honestly, you're even more... I would be even more surprised of you than Grignac, considering how much stuff he's given you and... He hasn't really given me a lot, but um, we've made some deals. Yep. We just made one, and it was just to fill out a book. So really, I don't. That wasn't that wasn't that small a deal, dude. Really? You don't you don't think that's a big deal? <laughs> he was gonna bias it beyond belief towards the elves. Well, y you've got to remember about No Name. No Name questions everybody. Yeah. Yeah. All right. That's I'll why I didn't you. do good in school. All right. <laughs> um, Versus, what about you? Honestly, Versus I, already I, rolled 36. I understand, but I, I'm just right. making sure he can explain himself. I'm trying to think what his process would be here. <laughs> Torn would normally he Normally he goes with the flow kind of thing, but... Maybe he's by that intelligence. 33. Sorry. Huh? I, I was answering someone else's question. My fault. Go ahead. Why you were saying why we, so the question was Tolmet influencing Sh uh, Shara. No, the the question is uh, do you question whether or not Lictalon is above board or whether he's been lying to you. And if you think he's lying to you, you're rolling against your demon and monster. If you don't, as Grignac has 100% said, you know, I'm not going to question Lictalon. Ursus has not had a reason to question Lictalon. He hasn't dealt with him much. Well, but he hasn't dealt with him much, so is that enough reason to question him? I think we're all suspicious of Lictalon, but we don't say it to his face, if that makes sense. I'm not sure Grignac so, had a very nice... Yeah, Grignac Gr had a beyond belief, really positive experience. I'm not. I'm not trying to set you guys up to fail here. I'm just, I'm asking to make sure that 
you have worked out in your head that in your mind your character feels that Lake Delon can't be trusted. You have read way far into this and <laughs> I'm just ready to move on because if that's the path that's taking He trusts him, we're moving on. What are you thinking about it? <laughs> I don't think I'm reading more into this. I'm just straight out saying there are reasons to question this guy if you feel that there are reasons to question this guy. He says he's on our side, but he won't really truly help. So, I mean, honestly, he's kind of selfish. He both says he's an elf. He's you an know, elf. Therefore, yeah. that's reason enough. I agree. Don't trust elves. <laughs> no, elves can walk on snow, and that's not natural. I, I put this... I, I've In my mind, I saw this question akin to finding... Jewish soldiers that um, served for Hitler, mm-hmm. and like, wait, something doesn't line up here. Mm-hmm. And that's where I thought the thought process would go, but you take the thought process in a different way. And I, like I said, I'm ready to move on. I just the idea I was trying to put out wasn't about, hey, let's all call Lichtelit a liar to his face. Yeah. No, I'm not saying that. Not the, well, no, I rolled the ten. That's right enough. Out. Yeah, that's enough. Okay, what do I know? I'll whisper it to you, but I'm trying to make sure I'm not just whispering to you alone. Oh, you can whisper to me. I'll keep it a secret. <laughs> keep it secret. Keep it safe. I, I I know you'll keep it secret, but I'm just making sure you're <laughs> no, not... No, I'm going to tell everybody. <laughs> what are you talking about? <laughs> <laughs> All right. Then I'm, just I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. I'll tell Hebo and Dave, and then they'll tell everybody. No, you won't tell Hebo and Dave. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Okay, tell me. Hang on. Great. <laughs> I'm waiting. Versus. No. Okay. Sorry. Ursus, trust him. Versus yeah. just moving on. Let's go get this bitch. Yo, look, Lon, where, what's the path to uh, uh, where we got to go next? Hold on, hold on, hold on. <laughs> what? It, it, that, that, that Hebo missed the whisper. It's whisper silent, not whisper dream. He put a period. Actually, in dream works just as well. Or is it the period? It is they the both period. Work. It's that the period. That screwed the period up. That screwed it up. It's the period. <laughs> <laughs> oh god. Okay, so, um, oh, for God's sakes, stop trying to purposely whisper <laughs> so that I just see it. <laughs> and no name, I should smite you right in the ground right now for that. But anyways, you um, know you like it. No, I, I don't know, that, that seems like a logical progression for the way things have been going in the last few games. <laughs> Tonight, yeah. <laughs> no. Yeah. All right. So, uh, Lichtelon looks at you all and says, So? Thank you. We are now even. I thank you, Crisis. For now, I shall be able to help Palladium see that united against the devils and demons is the only way that we will stand together and defeat them. I'm so confused by your whisper. 
Because uh, he said what you're you're saying. No, he did not say that. He said that. It, he did say yeah. it. You did. I mean, you might have accidentally said it, but you said exactly what you whispered. Which is why people were questioning it, but they decided to ignore it. But you're saying you believe that that was not a misspeak. That was a true speak. Everyone else is blowing it off. Okay. Or everyone else doesn't know enough in character to do or anything. Or doesn't know enough in character to call him on it. One or the other. No, but he like he's like, so this is the case. And then you whispered me, hey, that is the case. And I was like, yeah. Well, that's not really. He was telling the truth. Like, I don't know. I'm. <laughs> Like it, there were Everyone no. Everyone else is like basically blowing it off. Like what he said didn't matter. Oh well. <sighs> All right. I mean, like, so it's like, what's up, buddy? You're you're my BFF now. Excuse me. No, I don't say that to him. <laughs> He's like, does does no name ever say BFF? What? You yeah, just did. He he always does. <laughs> No, he'll uh, he'll be like uh, I'll 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 bring you Lady Shara's head. <clears throat> Good, that's wonderful. Meet me in Fi. See you there, or I'll see you another time. Let send me <laughs> send me an eagle when you have succeeded, and I shall be there post haste. Very well. Okay, that's interesting. Moving on. Um, so. So there was a way to the Western Empire from here. There is. And he, uh... I hope you can fly as he pushes his hull off the balcony. <laughs> <laughs> it's in that direction. <laughs> and, and he says... Good luck. Search, search for the secret passageways among the rubies a few floors down, and you shall find. Me. Did that? No, you didn't. No, we didn't look for secret passageways among the rubies. We looked for them on the, the brass. Correct. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. <laughs> so back to the rubies. Ursus with the eye in hand. Yeah, yeah. You can find it. I'm not even going to make you roll. Um, so there are two crystal arches. One with two E's on the side engraved. One with two D's. Dwarf. Oh, wait. Engraved on the other. Wait, they're gates? Do you gates? like double D's or you like double E's? Time out, wait. Do you like Time double D's or double E's? They're gates? Um, they seem to be. Um, I say to everyone, I say, stop. In the name of love. I, I'm just going to collaborate and listen. All right. <laughs> um, the one with two... Um, I was just going to say hammer time, and then you got <laughs> actually even better there, Dream. Well done. <laughs> everyone, remember. Remember the 5th of November. Um, but also remember the fact that uh, the gate with, I believe, two E's is the one. If I ever recall him saying that this place was built with the help of the dwarf. Yep. Uh, we were told this, but where were we told it? Uh, I told you guys that. <laughs> Five seconds ago? No, like, uh, before that. Uh, like Delon told me. And then I told you guys. <laughs> Actually, no, sorry. It was the mountain. The mountain told me. The mountain told you? The, the Slayer of Mountains. Mountain. The Slayer of Mountains. Yes, the mountain from, um, the show with the, I didn't tell the you. kid without legs. <laughs> 
Yeah, he does have mountains for biceps. It could be Hebo. <laughs> told you. Hebo. Uh, no, the Slayer Mountains. Wait, so is wait. Is Hebo Hebo the Mountain Slayer? <laughs> no, the Slayer Mountains, the dragon. <laughs> he said he's gonna be my friend for millennia, and then I was like, "Well, what if I die before then?" As he's like, "Well, I guess we won't be friends for that long then." I was like, "Yep." <laughs> anyway, that's the one we need to take. The ease. The elf. E You're gonna trust side. the elf door. E on both sides, <laughs> of the little kingdoms. All right. <laughs> That Link hands and we'll charge in at the same time. Uh, Hebo has some issues here. Go ahead, Hebo. No, 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 it's fine. Hebo, say it. He doesn't trust the elves. I just don't trust the elves, but if you guys want to. That's because they're just because they can walk on the snow doesn't mean that we can't trust them in gate building. Elves don't walk on the snow. Yes, they do. It's quite hilarious. They can walk on top of the snow. Have you seen an elf? Many. <laughs> they walk on top of the snow, and they don't so fall into it's it. It's a 50-50 shot. Do we go D for dwarf or E for elf? One for dwarf, two for E. Two for elf. One for dwarf, two for elf. Versus goes one. Three can't goes two. Dream goes two. I, honest, I can't tell if No Name is making this up or not. Welcome to Crisis. <laughs> I wouldn't. I would not make this up. Vote your character. <laughs> Dream believer one. Um, waiting for Torn and No Name. Well, I forget which one Torn's I said was E. Which Dream one? Was e. Alphabetical order. Two is E. Boom. Majority. What is <laughs> Nope. Torn's got to vote. No, it's it's majority. No, it's majority. We'll majority. That's enough. Yeah. We tried Ursus. Boom. Which there's for right, Torn. Which is the typical Torn one voted to anyway. anyway. Yeah, yeah. The dwarf's going to vote for the elves. Okay. I believe that. Not. Um, <laughs> anyways. He's like, uh, well, he does like no name, no name, and dream. <laughs> All right. Really, really, I'm actually worried about Brian at the moment. Sorry. Um, so uh, well, his picture's there. He's smiling. All right. Group voted. <laughs> Ursus leads. He walks through the gate of the elves. Um, no name. You're not going to do anything before walking through this. You told before me anyone was walked through this. You I told think. me there was nothing special. You just said walk through. Um, I already sent the the eagle to my master. Really? When did you do that? Last game, you said don't worry about riding a log because I know you're not going to ride it with official. I understand that, but I don't recall you giving an exact date last time because you couldn't have. I said we were going to go as soon as possible. Right. As soon as and possible. And be ready. And be ready uh -huh. at a moment's okay. notice. And that was just a couple days ago. Just making sure. Okay. okay, what's the calendar date then? Assuming that we've spent two or three days tops. It's uh, gotta be have nine. Seen. Correct. It's what? So we got somebody that can tell time, can't we? Don't we? Hebo can. Yeah, yeah we'll Someone that has the ability to give us the exact date and time. Yes, yeah, you have an air uh, You have an air warlock with you now. No, but we have Dream who has a psionic that does the same thing. Sense time. Yep. If, if, that's, an, if that's an active in-character question, then Dream will do that to get the answer. I do okay. that. It, it is the 9th. It is 6 p.m. Okay, the 14th was the best day, according to him, and I'll just confirm it. If you guys want to confirm it via logs, feel free to do so. Um, if the GM wants to confirm to save us time. It's the 21st. It's the Festival of Thought. Yeah, but you said come early in one of the latest the logs. Right. Yeah, it come at least a week before, but 
you know, give him, let him know when you're arriving. Yeah. So maybe do you guys, able. we're arriving now. Do you guys want to chill in here for a little while? I mean, they got a really nice like feast table no. up there. We just want to. Yeah, let's wait. Let's we go. gotta come yeah. in. Wait, time out. Time out. Before we go through, we gotta come in disguised so that we're not recognized because we are the most wanted people in this area. Put on your disguises. And with that, I'm already with that. I dream was say, that. currently Dream, Dream and uh, Grignac don't look anything like themselves. No name like, well, I'm kind of bald. <laughs> <laughs> so, first so? of all, Dream wants to say that he is fully behind. I'm, what I, no I'm going suggests. to first give you guys a moment to okay. actually, like, collect yourselves and do things before you walk through this door. So, that being I, said. I strongly suggest and believe that we should follow No Name's lead on this. He is the one who has had the drive to go to the Middle Kingdoms. He's the one who's been researching it. I fully respect and believe that what he has to say to us about this and his opinions on the matter are worth listening to and following. Okay. He's also said that everyone should be disguised. Yes, so if someone needs a disguise to go through, I could definitely give them a disguise. We could shape. Well, Ursus is going to need some help because he used up his uh, last little trick from uh, Indris. Uh, so, so Indris, no name. No, is Walrus still uh, here? Uh, Walrus. Is probably in bed because he lives. Yeah, yeah I understand far away, where he but lives. He's lurking. Oh, he's not even lurking. Shame okay. on you, walrus. <laughs> <laughs> so this is where I was going to bring him in. I was going to bring him in on the next scene change. Yeah. Oh, that was that's a long time to make him wait. <laughs> next scene change. Um. Well, you could, because it'd probably be next game. Um, we could shave Torin's beard off. Yeah, he'd love that. He's not here. Oh my here. god! If you want to, if you want to have Fred go ballistic, <laughs> shave his beard off. It would be far worse than what happened when er, when Overkill had his head shaved <laughs> and beard shaved. I trust uh, me, you would not be happy. <laughs> I'm yeah. warning you, but you're controlling his character. He said, <laughs> if he's not there, it's you. Mm -hmm. Honestly, I feel like maybe we should explore the castle a little bit and wait till we get to the where we can get back here to the 14th. Um, I'm going to need a mathematician with advanced math to calculate the time difference down here. Um, but there is I no say time difference. Okay, let's work on disguises upstairs. Let's look around, see what we can find out, look for treasure, secret places, and we'll come back and we'll go through the gate on the 14th. All right. So, since you've... Is anyone... Uh, so, what is... Uh, what, what does everyone feel about No Name's suggestion? Well, as long as he's going to let Logan know the specific day we intend to walk through that portal, I'm, I'm all right with whatever time he wants to go. And I'll send a second eagle if we need to. I'll send it right away. Saying well, what? My Saying only problem we will do our best that? to show up on the 14th. My only problem, guys, with doing that is we don't know where this portal comes out. Yeah, it does. Um, it comes out in the basement of the castle or the keep of uh, Lady Shara. So it's probably a good thing that Ursus was restrained from running through, since it sounds like we're going to want to definitely make sure we come through prepared, because we'll not be in a good place. Yeah. Uh, supposedly, from what I've heard from research and from what Slayer has told me, it's not a well-traveled area, because otherwise the gate might have been destroyed. And we can right, toss a I, rock. I'm going to toss a rock through uh, the gate to make sure that the rock goes there. Um, are you sure you want to do that? Just a tiny, tiny pebble. Really bad idea. 
I restrain no name from doing that. Why would you stop? I mean, what? I, I want to understand why versus. What if something comes back out? If well, we the just... thing of it is, is you're announcing that it's an active portal when you toss it through, which means that even if you know there's not somebody necessarily there right now, we're giving them time to notice that a new rock is there and uh, set something up on the other side to give us a warm reception. And by the way, you won't throw a rock, you'll throw a crystal. Yeah, my point. That, that's that will really that stand you, out. That you, that's the only thing you could find here. Mm, in the cava or in the castle, probably we could find some kind of like dust bunny. No throwing anything through. We're the word of first things to go through. Period. I can throw your hair through there. <laughs> Make a hairball. Throw Torrin's beard. Yep. <laughs> Buy Torin's beard. <laughs> Throw a puppy through. Buy Torin's beard. <laughs> I mean, if he didn't want us to do it, he'd say something, right? Yep. Um, Torin, if you're not no. here. <laughs> Come on, folks. I, I wouldn't oh let you guys God. do that. <laughs> Let's get ourselves disguised. And All right. Walk through. Um, but do, so do we want to show up right on the 14th, or do we want to show up? A couple days early. I would like to send a pigeon since the 14th. We can probably get an eagle by there by then. All right. As you are sending an eagle out. If someone shoots uh, that eagle, I'm going to throw them off the castle. <laughs> I don't even care if they're a good guy. I don't know where you come up with some of this. I don't endorse that. <laughs> Someone's hanging on there. They're like, "It's my last arrow. I'm gonna shoot this eagle." <laughs> um, no name. You've had a battle. Next game. I didn't even have my you, bonuses on there. We didn't have a battle. You did. Yes, you did. No, there we, was a battle. What? No, there was a battle. Hey, hello, folks. Was there a battle? Damn, queen. No, that didn't count as a battle. We fast forwarded through them. <laughs> There was a it battle. It was totally a battle. Thank you. Guys, do you not want my bonus for Lady Shara? No. So, <laughs> there was a battle. <laughs> However, it's your character's birthday on the 8th. Okay. So, I'll give you the character birthday bonus your next game. Okay. Um, What day are you sending said eagle? Today, which would be the 8th? The 9th. Thank you. All right. So on the night. So I have a couple. I have I have something to give you before then. Um. Actually, on the night, since that's when you guys were completely finally free. There's a pigeon. Actually, oh sorry. Oops. Not a new post. New post. Whoever just shared something with me, I'll be there in a moment. Yeah. Yeah, thank you. Sorry. I really am getting there. Sorry, there's no GM mode on this thing, so... Dunk. All right, there it is. Oh, sure man. there. Sure there. Um, you do realize that this is dated the day before. Oh wow, that's gonna get here get to him fast. And 
and yeah. Um. So you get that. Um, so no name. That's directly to you. Since you're the yeah. most senior member, and I'm, I assume that you share it with everyone. Yep. Um, and you tell uh, Logan that you're going to be arriving when? Uh, the 14th. Okay. Um, it looks like they want to make repairs on the Shield of Light. However, uh, our poor ship is down to its last quarter of its life without repairs. So yeah, let's let them repair it. Who are the two sailors that they lost? Too generic, looks like. Yeah. Okay. Because it says the core crew. Every sailor's life matters. Yep. All sailor life matters. Sailor's lives matter? Yep. <laughs> There's no generic sailors on our ship. Yep, all sailors' lives matter. <laughs> yep, sailor lives matter. Thank you, Hebo. <laughs> Those are my brothers, my sisters. Yep. So His name was name Robert Paulson. Paulson. <laughs> <laughs> Why not? Let's go with it. <laughs> I feel like Rebuild doesn't know what I'm referring to. <laughs> I have no idea. Oh. Uh, Fight Club? Everyone has, Everyone has a name in death. His name was oh, Robert God. Paulson. <laughs> oh, Robert Paulson. Oh, shit. Okay, I'd forgotten. <sighs> okay. He's like, okay, I'll give you I'll give you XP. <laughs> Bitch. Remember it was the, la right. the large guy that was dealing with man breasts? Anyways, moving on. Um... While you are wandering around, searching around the castle, uh, no name, you come across a dagger. Dun, dun, dun. Okay. This dagger just looks really awesome. Everything you is pick awesome. it up. Okay. Do I die? And it immediately feels like this is the dagger you were born to wield. Okay. Will you please effing give up Chiketri now? I want the dagger to tell me a little bit about it itself. Yeah, I don't do, it like, won't. Speed dating. It won't. Hey. You'll have to use it. i be like, so tell me a little bit about yourself. It won't. It feels right, though. Feels right? It's it feels almost as if... It was made for Vindicator you. Junior. It was made for what? It was Vindicator Junior. Oh man. Okay. I'll uh, I'll test it on. <laughs> no. Yeah. Right. Can I test yeah, it on a test on? a test dummy? Duh. We're in a castle. There are no test dummies. Yeah, there is. There's a garrison in this castle. There are no test dummies here. Oh, there's pillows. Um, I can build him an ice sculpture. Does anyone else <laughs> stumble across anything while searching the... <laughs> <laughs> oh, God bless you, Hebo. <laughs> I'll provide Hebo all the ice he needs. Oh, God. Okay. I'll shape it into a picture of no name holding the championship belt above his head. <laughs> Give me a percentage roll, Hebo. Oh, do it, do it. Come on. I don't know if I can break it. Uh, I'm just... <laughs> nice. Oh. Why am I? Oh, because I'm on the wrong screen. Oh yeah, that works. What do you want? Yeah. Um, no name. You can throw it at a ice sculpture of you. <laughs> I I look at the championship belt. I look at Hebo and I'm like, really. <laughs> Uh, this is on the 12th. Okay, 
I'll I'll test it. All right. While they're playing around with the ice sculptures, and the rest mm. of us are searching all the nooks and crannies of this castle, do we find anything of particular uh, interest? I, other than a whole lot of elves suddenly arriving, and a few dwarves. Um, no. What arriving? Yeah. How are they yes. arriving? They're arriving via a few airships that suddenly show up. Okay. Torin is sitting in the throne, kind of looking in like a mirror. No, you're not sitting on Lictalon's chair. Oh, it's Lictalon? You are not. Okay. Sitting on Lictalon's chair. Well, he's... Let me help you here. Okay. <laughs> he's sitting at the head of the table, looking uh, into... Um, you're not sitting in Lictalon's chair. <laughs> the foot of the table. How about that? You can sit at the foot. Okay. And he's like... He's just looking in a mirror and he's like, Who am I? Am I the. Are you throwing the knife at the ice sculpture? Yep. Kill me at the right. Yeah, will be 20. He'll be checking everything, though. Actually, Ursus through is through looking through. for a way to disguise himself and he's trying to think of a way to disguise himself and. Actually, thinks he might know a way. So. And it was actually given to him by one of the other characters. So after uh, Hebo iced No Name, No Name killed the iced he No Name. Yeah, correct. So what happened? It just went through it. Does it come back? Sliced right through it. Does come back to you? It does. <sighs> mm -hmm. I'm like, all right. I guess I can give up, Jukatri. Jukatri, you never served me well anyway, and I toss him aside to Merkel. <laughs> Oh God! <laughs> Thanks for like making it hard on 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 Merkel. Thanks so much. <laughs> What's your new name? What's your Merkel. name? Really, really, really sucks. Uh, Merkel. <laughs> Merkel catches it and says, "That's no way to treat a throwing knife." And he starts tossing it around, juggling, and starts adding the um, other throwing give me knife percentage. <laughs> I'll definitely take better care of. Did you say Tetri? No, yeah. it's it's Jackatry. I'm I'm putting it into his sheet. No, I say Jackatry. Oh God. <laughs> <laughs> um. So juggling skill minus forty. Does that make it? I assume it does. Minus forty to yep. Do the one thing his character's designed to do. Okay. Um. Yes. Unfortunately, because. Um, no name really f this up. You but didn't see you my roll. Here's my roll to throw it. I don't care about your roll. Yeah, boom, eleven. It was good because I have knife throwing as well. So you said it's skill minus forty. Yeah. Yes, I succeed by four. Thank God. Okay. I have a plus seven for throwing. So well, it was see, the pro 18. The problem is, Dream, that he pissed the sword off. The, the, yeah. Well, he, he pissed the... Entity. The dagger? Entity off. Well, that was, that was part of the point of Merkel taking it and immediately starting doing things with it you would do with a throwing knife. Because it's a throwing Yeah, I knife. understand, but, you know, basically he cursed it on the way out the door, so that's why I was saying minus 40, but it's fine. You're, I, you're fine. I throw the knife again and I say, You are a great knife. You don't. Oh, your crystal <laughs> knife? Yeah. Yeah, okay. That's and fine. I say, What is your name, great one? It doesn't say a damn word. It says, I, I say, Oh, right. You are not a damn word. <laughs> <laughs> If that's your name for it, that's fine. No. <laughs> Put it on your sheet. I want to say its name was Robert Balls. <laughs> <laughs> if that's what you want to name it, I'm okay with it. <laughs> hey, it's me, Robert Paulson. Throw me. <laughs> I'm okay with it. So, um, we, don't have to, we don't have to take it much further, but remember when uh, Merkel was casing the place to find Yeah, the absolutely. You know, if no one's going to miss it, 
then a little bit of it might go towards funding the uh, um, crisis in their quest. So, um, you, you, you as Merkel realize after Lichtelon shows up that It'd this is probably Lichtelon's like house. But if, if, if you are correct, there may be a chance that some things may go missing that no one notices, but you may not be correct about that as well. No, if Merkel realizes that he'd be stealing from Lickalon, then yeah, he realizes that's a bad idea. Okay. Really? Merkel? Surely sure. you won't miss one little thing. Everything yeah. I know of Merkel was about dealing Mer with people who were not good. Merkel's a and sketchy like MF. That to them. I, and you're really sure Lictalon's good, are you? Not, not only do I have no reason to doubt him at his word, but because of that, I have no reason to doubt that he's not a good person, even though he just got the one thing he needs to subjugate the Palladium world. <laughs> Okay. Just double checking. Um, Ursus, what were you hinting at earlier that you didn't really say? Um, disguising. Mm -hmm. uh, Dream says he has something to help, but Ursus, just before we go through, is going to shave his entire body. And then let Dream do his trick on him. Dream do his trick on him. That's okay. all Ursus does. Dream so Ursus is going to shave his entire body and then you're going to disguise him, Dream. Because no one's seen Ursus with, without beard or hair. But the off chance someone could see, on, you know... Someone needs to use something. typing with their feet. Sorry. Uh, Merkel, if you uh, refresh your page, does it show Jaketri on it? Uh, give me a second and I'll check. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> um, Torin. Are you disguising yourself in any way, or are you pretty clear that no one knows who you are yet? Considering that Torrin's never been published in a book of crisis, I don't know that he needs to really worry. Um, he'll do some kind of disguise, but it'll be minor. Okay, how are you going to do that? Um, what tools are available? Uh, we could paste all Ursus' and other hair members on of crisis. He'll, uh, he'll... Or, or you could just shave off your beard. He's not gonna shave his beard. No, he's not I gonna think, shave his beard. Yeah, that's only gonna make a dwarf stand out. He'll wear, um, a beret. Really? And where are you acquiring this beret? Of From the beret. elves, because they're French. <laughs> um, no. No. Um, guys, there, there is no marketplace here. He's gonna take whatever he can find from the queen's chamber and put it on. You're gonna put a dress on? No, something else. A a a, a very feminine hat. Yeah, I can sew you one. He'll he'll ask Hebo to sew him a fantastic I have so hat. It. Um, Hebo, roll um one d six. Make me not as noble as I should be. But I pretend not to be. It'll take you one week. So that will be finished on the 16th. Not enough time. Well, I'm okay with half done rush jobs. <laughs> okay. I don't think you are. <laughs> you, will, you will have a hat that is not quite finished. That's okay. As long as you just quickly sew it up at the end, we'll um, all there, be good. There isn't a whole lot of material here. There, there. I, I there would was, only do it uh, if I could perfect it. There, there was much, <laughs> uh, much searching for, for and scraps of fabric. I, I tell Hebo as Torin to make him the best 
hat he can perfect and the best clothing he can perfect within that timeline. Um, all, all, of, all of those things were done um, outside of the Crystal Kingdom in um, in the Dwarven community that you all left behind. Yeah. That's now in frozen winter. Okay, but he'll put... Yeah, we don't know that. He'll say, just make whatever you can within the timeline and I will accept it as beautiful and artistic. Alright, so... Um, do me a favor, make sure you send to Brian that he has a uh, three-quarter finished hat. That's uh, it. <laughs> three quarters of a hat. It's not me, it's Tor- it's, it's not me, Torin, because I have a fancy hat. <laughs> <laughs> um, that, that, that you're now wearing. Um, so basically the base hat is done, but there's no ornamentation on it at all. It's just, it's just a. He'll hat. rip off one of the symbols of the Crystal Kingdom people and um, ask Hiba to sew it on. There real are fast. no such things. He knows they were either wearing crystals or they were not wearing crystals. No name will provide heraldry and say this is how you sew it real quick. Uh huh. And you're gonna you tell me how to sew it. multiple days to said pattern. No, I will invent a machine. No, you will not. <laughs> Moving on. <laughs> Actually, I'll use psionics. Right, what about you, Evo? Um, do you think you're going to be recognized or not? I don't think I was with them when they were in there, right? Should I, be all right. I, okay, so Evo is going but stands disguised. I feel as a little Evo. left out, so I'm going to take some of Ursus's hair. And make a mustache out of it. <laughs> One of those. He should make hairy arms too. Do you, do you have some sort of disguise skill? It was a bear butt mustache. I don't think so. All right. Um. Okay, so that. you hand the hair to Dream, and you say, "Can you make me a mustache?" Dream. Um. You have two disguises now. Um, a one for Hebo, so roll that first. No, Unless no. it'll actually, like, cost you things to make this, then don't worry about it. No, I, I think like you misunderstood. Points. Dream um, was going to use a psychic ability on oh, okay. um, Ursus in order to disguise him. Okay. This um, is just a pile of hair. There's not a, a whole lot hair? to do with this. <laughs> you get a bunch of hair. Um... Are, are you just going to, like, stick it to your face? Um, what are you going to do? Just just braid it together and just... Put it on your pubes. <laughs> <laughs> wait, wait. He's going to put my pubes on his pubes? That doesn't make sense. Oh. Oh. Why did you shave those, Ursus? <laughs> he said he shaved everything. He did. I don't think he I like this one. <laughs> Ursus, when Ursus does something, he goes whole hog. I regret you this. All <laughs> Look at me, I'm definitely not a member of Crisis. <laughs> Look at my pubes. <laughs> On my face. <laughs> um, <laughs> Look how um, curly my beard is. Evo, give me a percentage die. If you roll under 50, I'm going to say it looks like a convincing walrus-like mustache. There you go. You have a genuinely huge mustache on your lip. It's pretty much the first thing anyone would ever notice. I'll put the, the own mustache bristles. Can I put the king's yes. clothes on? Clothing on. I'm sorry. I'll put the king's clothing on. The king's clothing is no longer in existence. Yeah, he has a Actually, whole wardrobe. Um, no, you misunderstand me. I literally said the king's. Wardrobe is no longer in his, in existence. Well, I'm gonna take a dump in his closet. Um, you'll be taking a dump of Lictalon's closet. Okay. Ooh. Well, then I will <coughs> ask a servant or someone visiting us. Say, can I borrow your clothes? Here is hey, hey actually, a high five from Ursus a has, member. Ursus has something that no, you may want. Hey, hold on. Before you interrupt, Ursus, go ahead and finish. No name. Um, what can I give you in exchange? Would you like a high five? A day with the man with no name? He looks at you and says, Wait, 
Why would I want to date a man? No, a day. You can have a day with me. Do you think of all the adventures we would have? Do you want to see something cool? Cash. Cash money? 50 Elvin. Elvin? What if I told you that I don't have any cash on me? But... Or you to get the hell lost. I can away. show you something really cool. What if we... He walks away. I say, fine. I didn't want your clothes anyway. And I go to the next guy. And yeah, they'll keep saying pretty much the same thing. I will do you some tricks. Have, you don't have any cash. You're not going to get shit. Go ahead, Ursus. What's your suggestion? Ursus has several articles of clothing that he can't fit but that someone might be able to fit if he's willing to take them. But he's already uh, stated disgust at taking anything. Oh, no, that was someone else. I'll take it. You'll take it? Hang on, let me go back to my inventory. Put it on oh. me. The more urine the better. <laughs> <laughs> well, I can piss all over like you if that's priest. what you want. No, You're that's You're going to look like a priest in a moment. Well, guess what? Priest of Kansu here. Here's a pamphlet. Actually, I got... I got something. It's hang on. It is. I'm the priestess smiling. It was. It's an evening attire set from the windswept inn. Ooh. Oh, jeez. I'll put that I don't on. Know what... Okay. Do I look fabulous? Like, um. Well, you look fabulous, except for well, every ounce of your exposed <laughs> skin, which uh, I'd like for you to describe to the rest of Crisis. Wait, I'm exposed? I No, I'm wearing my armor underneath. I was just um, going to ask, did you just put this set of, set of clothing on over your normal clothes? Yeah. <laughs> it does not fit <laughs> over your normal clothes. I, I sang the song from Tommy Boy. I go, fat man in the little it man's coat. It does not coat. fit <laughs> over your normal clothes. And you've just taken off your hat, etc. Read Twitch. Twitch. <laughs> oh hi 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 bear <laughs> Hey you know what he wants it he, No don't it. no don't do it oh, oh, I'll get jump. banned nope. don't do it You're gonna No No nope. yeah. No get banned. please Pull it don't down. Oh, he's... No for showing my scars No yeah, no. you can't have like chest or that do, do not, not do, do it. My we nasty wound from yesterday? At least he didn't show nipples. But he yeah. showed other things. Yeah, please. Yeah, stop. Yeah, don't do it. I'll get perma banned. Yeah, okay. Not a good idea. <laughs> <Yep>. uh, <sighs> okay, so, anyways. Um, so, uh... If you guys are okay, I'm ready for you guys to walk through the gateway. Um, um, so no name still looks like no name. Wait, no, I'm taking off my hat and my other, like my. Sh okay, so if my face will be showing. Hat, I want you to describe, or I'll describe if you, you can don't describe feel like it. it. All right, so no That's name takes off I'm his balding. hat and his mask. And you see his face and his head fully for the first time in a very long time. Uh, his hair is stringy would be the best description. There's a few hairs still stuck to his pale, bald, wrinkled head. Um, his face uh, is, and his neck is, are pale as if, uh, well, as if he's almost an albino. I mean, he's just really, truly pale, as if all pigment has left his skin. There's just a little bit left. Uh, and, a, you know, a few kidney spots here and there. Um, his face is wrinkly as if, well, he's been in a pool for a very, very long time. Uh, and the skin on his neck is kind of starting to droop off as if it's loose, as if he's lost a lot of weight. 
Um, and well, that's what he looks like. Of course, he still has, you know, his sight, which kind of, you know, uh, hi, I'm no name, but, you know, o outside of that. I fold the crap out of that. Uh, understand, Lurch, it's just there's certain rules on Twitch and, um... Okay. Yeah. Bear skin just doesn't go well. Yeah. Um... So, um... If everyone's okay, I... Everyone's pretty much stated what they're looking like when they pass through the gateway. So do I look like he'll have... There's, there's I'm sorry? a couple people that aren't here. I know it's player, but there's a good suggestion by Dream in Roll20. Oh yeah, we'll, we'll call it, but I think he wants to end like where we walk through. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to end just as you guys walk through. You mean after we uh, set up all the preparations we're going to do? Yeah, I think basically I Dream is I, wanting I us was, to... Yeah. Dream is wanting yeah. us to, like, make sure everyone else that's not participating is good before we step there. Agreed. Yeah. Okay. So, so the start uh, of the next game, we will be stepping through the... We'll be on so, the um... Give, if, make, making sure we're all on the same page. We're talking about the 14th? Yes. yes. Alright, well then, I have a few more things to share. Okay. Uh, yeah, feel free to do so, and I'll pick someone. And while you're picking someone, I've got two more logs to download to you, folks. Who should I pick? Do I want someone big or someone small? <laughs> so hard. Let's throw some, somebody small. I, I, I would thing. love, honestly, if you hit one of the people that I suggested if they're on. Um, whisper me who you suggested. I can't. I'm too busy doing the other things. I, oh. That's why I sent it to you. Oh no, I launched a game on accident. <clears throat> I forget the name of the person. I, I sent you more than one, so, like I said. Uh, you it, talked it, up on the phone. You, no, I sent you an email with like three or four different people. Okay. Um, what's the email called? No idea. I'm posting logs. So don't ignore, don't ignore that. Just. Do whatever okay. you're doing. I was gonna say honestly, I don't think I got it. Um, oh, perfect person. Okay, here we go. Uh, someone completely different. I don't know if we posted. Hey, please realize it's gonna take me a couple minutes to get there. <clears throat> I don't know if we've rated this person before. Uh, I feel like we have, but I mean, this person just thinks outside of the box with everything. Uh, they did a lawn mowing stream. And for that, <laughs> yeah, we have. Oh, they we mowed have. their lawn. They we've, we've done this one before. Literally, that's a good one. Literally I, mowed his lawn on stream. It it was really good, actually. <laughs> yeah, he w he waved his camera. Um, guys, here's the channel. Uh, wait for the um, raid. We'll wait do. until I've posted the logs and everyone's read them before yep. we even go there. Hippo raid, what face? No, I, I love supporting this guy like whenever I can. Um, He's really good at guitar and singing and stuff. Too. Oh yeah, I know who you're talking about. Yes, yeah. we've definitely raided him. Yeah, I remember this just by the <clears throat> description. Let me see in chat that you guys are ready. I see several people watching him already. Nowhere near ready because everyone's going to read these logs first. Oh, I'm going to read those logs so hard. Skyman, how's it going? I'm going to give that caster command to Skyman. Guys, show him some love. Uh, Skyman loves. Amazing guy. 
Um, I'm gonna beat you to it. Twitch, uh, Twitch con, <laughs> Twitch con. Fastest mod alive. Twitch con, Twitch con. Yes. Yep, you are. I'm gonna Look. blame it on the alcohol, <laughs> like Jamie Fox said. <laughs> oh man, Skyman, how are you doing? Hey, Skyman. All right, we got some good logs. There. So, T Hebo and I double teamed the queen. Just so you guys know. Excuse me. Yes, you definitely did. Yeah, we got that. Yeah. Well, <laughs> that and first. and we crossed the swords. <laughs> <laughs> we we succeeded the first time, and then we failed the second time. Yeah. Because rebuilt decided to be me and, and make us do it a second time. Yeah, because after all, you wouldn't do it more than once. <laughs> since you were going all night long. Well, we're that good. All you need is once. And she wasn't even, like, even even though she was a pandemonium, she wasn't, like, sore or anything. No. Nope. Not tired, not, not done. Absolutely not. What? Okay, how close? What What would I have needed to do? Millennium worth? Y you would have had to be like zero one, dude. Okay, well I can roll forever. <laughs> I'm gonna roll right now. Here we go, guys. Don't, because I'm oh. nowhere. I'm not even close to oh. being... Oh, know, zero one. Yeah, Everybody look. 43. <laughs> you didn't see that. <laughs> Six, seven, 69. All right. All right. Um, well, I posted the first log before Hippo decided to... Um, spam, spam the channel. Well, uh, and there's the second log. Is it just oh. the two, or is there more? There's just the two. Uh oh, this one oh. seems like it's for good Mac. Your YouTube link uh, doesn't work. My YouTube link doesn't work. Yeah, you have YouTube.com/slash yeah. watch. All right. It's, I'll fix it. Well, no, it's it's the third party notifications, copyright infringement. Yeah, I'll fix it. She looks so manly. She is so manly. Don't expect me to be happy. <laughs> you joined the group that ruined my life. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, and it just kills me that it's it, he's not here to get this log at the moment. Because, yeah. I really, really, really had hoped that that was going to happen. Oh, well, if she really wants us to kill her, we can kill her. <laughs> God. So, so in between me posting the, uh, in between me getting this log and, so sometime in the, literally the last five days, the person I got the link for got banned from YouTube. Oh, that's so awesome. I will put it. I will put it in, but I'm gonna have to find a legitimate link for it. Sorry. Well, hopefully, I somewhere don't in get the last banned. five, days, this guy got posted. It got got <laughs> busted, or this girl got busted. Um. So, I'll, why don't I use I'll their channel? Them. They have one. I, I yes, they do, but they didn't have that song, so that's where why I went elsewhere. Anyways, <laughs> um. All right. So, can you repost? Oh, there it is. Yep. All righty. Okay. Yep. Why you didn't think that was him? I I didn't remember the name of the person. Okay. 
I remembered everything you were describing that we've been here before and I like the person but and I know I was already following the person. Awesome. Is everybody but ready? Just got on to Twitch. Okay. Alright. Let me know when it you're says, ready. It says that Kibo and, and Coco are there. Okay, here we go. I'm gonna turn the sound on. Here, here we go. Let's drop the raids, guys. Show him your love. What face hippo raid? Three, two, one, boom. <laughs> I want to show that love. Kill X, how's it going? Just in time for what? Just in time for the hippo raid. Uh, here. All right, guys. Yeah, show hit, uh, Pickle Sock some love. Um, thank you, everybody, for hanging out tonight. We'll see you in two weeks. What is two weeks? Um, oh, wait, no, it's two weeks. Two weeks better not be Valentine's Day. Okay, it's, it's Sunday. A couple days. It's close to Valentine's Day. All right. Two weeks. All right, everyone. <clears throat> Have a fantastic night. Stay classy. Right. See you Thank next you. time. Much up, love. Good night.